Glad to have you all here. Hope you're all having an amazing Wednesday. <clears throat> it's the middle of the week. We're going to talk about the top five ways to grow your YouTube channel. And then as we do the stream, we're going to, um, you know, talk about different topics, different things. Uh, Death Row, how are you today? Rosalina, shout out to you. <coughs> we got Rosalina and Death Row in the chat. <coughs> how are you guys today? Hope you're all having a great Wednesday. Death Row, how are you? Hope you guys are hope you guys are doing pretty well today. Hope uh, everything's doing well. Hopefully you guys are not getting affected by the Canadian uh, wildfires. <laughs> Been hearing a lot of that on the news. <clears throat> So hopefully nobody's uh, getting um, getting uh, nailed with that. So yes, today we're going to talk about the top the top five ways to promote your YouTube channel. It'll be kind of it's going to be a good stream today. It's going to be a lot of positive things that'll come out of it. A lot of good things. <laughs> um, it'd be something that I usually I haven't talked about on for a while. It's been a while since I've kind of did like an actual you know where you um, you know where you Talk about growing your YouTube channel. I've been kind of going off topics here lately, you know, talking about that. So today we're going to kind of, um, you know, kind of get into the nitty gritty about how to, um, to, to where you want to get somewhere on YouTube. And um, so today's actually going to be a big day on YouTube. There's going to be a lot of good things that are going to happen in the stream. A lot of positive things are going to happen. And then you guys are um, <clears throat> going to get a... Uh, Gonna connect, get connected to each other. I expect this to be a like a mega stream today. Uh, there, <laughs> so I just kind of wanted to say that. Um, so be prepared. Uh, could be a could be a could be a mega stream today because I did a did a lot of stuff behind the scenes, and uh, so a lot of people are indoors here um, in the area where I live at, all through the East Coast. So. Be prepared for a mega monstrous live stream today. <clears throat> SF Niners, how are you today? Shout out to you. We got SF Niners in the chat. How are you? So with all that, uh, all those wildfires going on in Canada, a lot of people are probably inside. They're on their phones. Um, so that it's not like a lot of people are going to be outside. So as the time goes on here, the chat's probably going to really start to pick up. Paranormal Search, how are you today? Uh, just, just wait, Skip Archie. I'm actually being pretty serious when I say that. <laughs> um, you know, I've been doing this for about two years. I kind of understand YouTube. I understand certain things. Um, you know, so we're just getting started. It's three minutes into the stream. Paranormal Search, how are you? We got Paranormal Search in the chat. How are you, Paranormal Search? Hopefully the, hopefully the smoke from the wildfires is not, a, not, um, <clears throat> not getting to be too bad. It's actually been pretty uh, pretty bad around here. Actually, in Washington, D.C., the air quality is actually pretty bad. So a lot of people should be inside, just on their phones, surfing YouTube, doing uh, what they do. Um, <coughs> casually unfiltered forever. How are you today? You can see, we're already getting some new people in the chat. Casually unfiltered forever is new in the live stream. How are you today, casually? I'm pretty good on paranormal search. I feel a lot better today. I feel a little more uh, balanced and regulated. Um, sometimes you gotta you gotta kind of change things a little bit. Gotta shift things. Daniel Barry Sports, how are you? So what I did, um, paranormal research. I kind of um, um, found a way to um, <clears throat> about certain things. I've been watching, um, you know, MM MMA Guru on YouTube. So I've been kind of learning a lot of things, like what they've been doing. I've kind of picked up some new things. <sighs> So as we get more people in the stream, as the chat really starts to pick up, then we'll start talking about the top five ways to uh, to promote get, promote your promote your YouTube channel, where you can get more views, get more likes. YouTube has been a little Treyarch two thousand eight. How are you? Oh, okay, sorry to hear that. Casually unfiltered forever. That you're having a little bit of a. I have that too sometimes too. Treyarch, how are you, Daniel Berry Sports? <clears throat> I think it's the weather. Sometimes when the weather gets like that, it causes um, 
Top five ways not to follow others. <laughs> well, yeah, death row, of course, because the whole goal is when you make a video, when you go live, you know, for every YouTuber that makes a video or a short, you want to get more views as possible. So, yeah, so, um, you know, that, um, that that's not where you don't follow each other because you do have to follow some people to... Uh, Okay, thank you, Death Row. I appreciate that. Uh, I'm always me. I appreciate the comment. Thank you. <laughs> I, I know I, I'm starting to see some comments there. I'm not trying to um, do what the other guy does. I know that I know where this is going. I'm not doing that. Um, so basically, that was just something. Um, okay. Yeah. Plus the air quality. Yeah, it, it's bad here too. Casually unfiltered forever. It's actually very bad here where I'm at in Washington D.C. It was so bad that they actually had to. Um, yeah, it is what it is. Um, <clears throat> so it is what it is. And, you know, when it is what it is, you just deal with it. <laughs> so, yeah, I know a lot of people in the East Coast have been dealing kind of with those, um, with that type of um, the smoke. But, but, uh, but by tomorrow, Saturday, it should get a little bit, I mean, excuse me, by Friday, it should be a little bit better. Oh, you're in northeastern Kentucky. Oh, okay. Well, you're kind of, um, you're probably near my friend Michael Hauser. Michael Hauser, how are you today? We got Michael Hauser in the chat. <clears throat> how are you, Michael Hauser? What's going on with you, Michael Hauser? Got Flammy in the chat. How are you today, Flammy? Oh, thank you for watching the ads. I appreciate that. Everybody could. Like and share the stream. Please play the ads. I appreciate it. Sister uh, Sister Weenie, how are you today? You got Flammy in the chat. What's going on with you, uh, Flammy? Got Sister Weenie in the chat. How are you today, Sister Weenie? So how's the air quality in your place, Michael Hauser? I think it's probably, um, so you're in northern Kentucky, so you and Casually Unfiltered Forever are actually kind of in the same place, so the, the, I guess the air quality there has been bad. It's it's actually terrible here in Washington, D.C. too. <laughs> so uh, actually, that's the same. I actually checked that. Um, <clears throat> so it's actually it's actually a lot worse than actually New York City. New York has actually really got it bad up there. Um. Oh, oh, okay. Okay, Michael Hauser. Thank you. I appreciate that. It's it's bad here too. So um anyway, um <coughs> So we just got to So that's why I thought it was just good good to go live on YouTube. All right. So, all right. So the top 5 ways to promote your YouTube channel. How you doing, Barry's fried chicken? What's going on with you? Got Barry's fried chicken in the chat. What's going on with you, Barry's fried chicken? How how how's um how's the fried chicken business doing? Hopefully your restaurant's uh selling a lot of a lot of chicken. Oh yeah, that yeah I see that Michael Hauser. That's that's actually pretty um not very good. But at least it's not all the way into like the dark red. If it wasn't the dark red, that would really be really bad. So glad that at least it's not all the way over. Okay, thank you, Barry's Fried Chicken. I appreciate that. <coughs> all right, Michael Hauser's. Okay, everybody check to <coughs> Michael Hauser's YouTube channel. The top five ways to promote your YouTube channel. <laughs> so we're going to go into a discussion about that. We can talk about this in the chat. Um, you know, as we... As people come in the stream, I actually believe that a lot of people are going to come in the stream. Um, and I'll tell you guys the truth why is because of the title. The title is, is a pretty good title. So as people come in, then you uh, you guys can get connected to each other, get more views on your channel. It, I, I was outside this morning. I had to take a break. Whoa, seriously, Michael Hauser, that's, that's a little rough there. 
How you doing, Melinda Elliott? We got Melinda in the chat. How are you today, Melinda Elliott? Shout out to you. How's your day going, Melinda? I I'm sorry to hear that, Michael Hauser. Everybody, please connect to my members' YouTube channel. Everybody, please connect to the pen. Oops, I was trying to pin that up there. Everybody, please connect to the pen. <clears throat> please connect to Melinda's YouTube channel. So I'm just sitting here drinking my coffee as the chat starts to pick up a little bit. How are you, Melinda? How's your, how's your day going? You know, actually what I did, Michael Hauser, actually what I did is actually our air filter in our apartment here, actually I cleaned it out um, this morning because of that, because, you know, the dust pollen and stuff like that. Um, Medilta OFW World, how are you today? We got somebody new in the chat. How are you today, Medilta? Med Medilta OFW World, how are you today? We got someone new in the live stream. HEPA system. Oh, you're sick today, Melinda? What's wrong with you? You're not feeling very good today? I'm sorry about that, Melinda. Is it, is it because of the <clears throat> is it because of the air pollution? Probably a lot of people have been... A, well, you're, in, you're, you're way out west, Melinda. Your air quality probably there is um, probably not as bad there. I, I think you're way out west, aren't you, Melinda Elliott? Hopefully you'll uh, get feeling better. How you doing, Nicholas Peel? Air quality nationwide. Oh, I thought it was... Oh, I thought it was on the East Coast and a little bit there in Cincinnati. Okay, so it's, it's all over the U.S. Nicholas, Nicholas Peel, how are you today? We got Nicholas Peel in the chat. What's going on with you, Nicholas Peel? Um, I see your comment there, Skip Archie. Melinda Elliott's been my member for, uh, for about almost a year. So, uh, she's like one of my biggest supporters on YouTube. So of course I'm going to let her have moderator status, uh, Skip Archie. <laughs> Melinda Elliott's actually been my longest member on my YouTube channel. <laughs> so, uh, thank you again, Melinda Elliott. <coughs> Okay, all right. So everybody, please connect to the pin. Skip Archie, you want me to drop your link? How are you today, Skip? That's okay, Skip Archie. I'm not, I'm not trying to beat up on you. Okay, uh, well, you have, look, you got some content there, Skip. Okay, let's see here. Uh, Treyarch2008, how are you today? Let me drop your link, Skip uh, uh, Skip. Scap Archie, I think that's what it's called there. I'll drop your link. So thank you for being here. I appreciate you. <clears throat> Foxy friends, how are you today? Everybody, please like and share the stream. Um, as time goes on, the, the chat will really, I know for sure, will really start to pick up. Have no doubt about that. Trey Arch, how are you today? <clears throat> FF Niners. So right now it's about 4.45 in the evening on the East Coast. So get another, another uh, here pretty soon. Ah. I'll tell you one way. I'll tell you one. The first thing, guys, I want to tell you how you promote your YouTube channel. I, I, the title of this video was the five ways to promote your, promote your YouTube channel. Well, one of them is is use the research research bar on your YouTube channel. That's the first thing well, that will help you get more views and more subscribers and more engagement on your channel is the research bar because of the um, because of the title. That's the first thing. <laughs> so now we now we continue dropping links. <clears throat> Breakage, how are you today? So that the research bar is is a number one thing that is that does help you on YouTube. On a serious note, uh, yeah, Foxy friends, yes, it is, yes, it is. I think a lot of people are having a problem with that. I'm having that here. It's good to drink a lot of water. Just don't be outside too much. 
Actually, I did go outside today a little bit, but I didn't stay outside too long because, of course, you know, if you're out in it too much, it's, it's not good for you if you do go outside. Oh, you didn't know about the research bar, Melinda Elliott? Yes, the research bar. You make videos a lot of times in a day, Melinda Elliott. You could research the titles on there, and that will help you put better titles on your YouTube videos. Here, I'll show you Melinda Elliott. Um, I, I I didn't know you didn't know that. Wow, so good. At least you're getting. At least you're gonna get one good thing from me today. <laughs> that always makes me happy. So if you guys <coughs> get something, that's really good. That's on your YouTube studio. I'm Melinda Elliott. Um, <clears throat> so what you do? Sorry, I keep clearing my throat so much. Let me uh get this thing to come up here. Here we go. Uh, right here, Melinda. It's on your YouTube studio. So what you do is um. You go onto your YouTube studio, Melinda Elliott, where it says over you and research, and right there. And then you type in the title that you think you like, and then you look at other titles, and you can kind of, don't use the exact title that someone else has used, but you can do somewhat close. And that does help. It does help. I've only done it a couple times, but today, actually, I did do it um, for this live stream, to be honest with you. I, actually, I did do that. So I did, I'm, I, if you didn't know, now you know. <laughs> so that's one good thing that that now you can use that on your videos and get more views and then <clears throat> hopefully um, <clears throat> get more monetized. Sorry, I keep clearing my throat so much. I need to not talk so fast uh, when I do these streams sometimes. I need to <clears throat> slow down a little bit when I'm talking. Okay, so that's the first thing. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. So everybody, please take to the pen. Tree Arch 2008. So the research bar, um, actually, um, I had one of my uh, biggest supporters on YouTube actually did tell me about that, and I didn't even know about that till they told me. So that's something that everybody can use. Um, that's the first thing that's really, really, uh, really powerful to uh, to get more views and get more engagement on your YouTube channel is the research bar. That's the first thing. So then, as we go on the stream, we'll do the uh, do the other four. The other four, um, <clears throat> excuse me. Now, if I could stop clearing my throat so much, that would be a good thing. <laughs> I don't want to keep going. Um, so, yeah. All right. Okay. <clears throat> so, the research bar, because um, sometimes one thing that's very frustrating is when you make a YouTube video. And when you make the video and then you don't get no views, you don't get no engagement, that is actually very frustrating for, not for me, but for all of us, for me and you guys in the chat. You, you know, you, you put up a video and then nobody's really watching it. It's annoying. It's, it's very frustrating. It's not, makes it fun. It's actually very depressing. And a lot of people um, sometimes feel like they just want to not do YouTube anymore just because of that, uh, just because of that right there. So that's the first thing is the is the research bar on your YouTube studio. So you can kind of look at the other channels that are trending. And of course, whatever's trending around the world, you know, that that also can play a role. Michael Hauser one time did a video about something about a train <clears throat> and uh it got like 10,000 views on it. So Michael Hauser had that happen because he he uh, took a YouTube video from the public record, I think, and then he put it on YouTube. And that, that can work, too. It can get you subscribers. Um, that That's one good thing. Just got to be careful to edit the video where it doesn't go against community guidelines. And, you know, so that's like the first thing, you know, already, um, you know, that is really powerful. That does work. Oh, you're welcome, Nicholas Peel. Shout out to you. <clears throat> so then the number then the second thing that I want to talk about, if you're the type of person that you want to show your face, you know, some people when they make videos, when they make content, they don't like to show their face. So that that's okay. But for the people that do show their face. And they, they talk one, a number, a uh, second thing is actually is to be confident in yourself. 
I know that's easy for me to sit here and say that. Um, you know, a lot of things are easier said than actually done. But confidence and not beating yourself down is the second thing that is, is very powerful also to um, <clears throat> is to uh, boost your YouTube channel. Um, but that's easy for me to say that, but it's harder for people, some people to do that. And I, and I understand that. Um, so that takes time. Um, you know, when I first started doing YouTube, I was a little, uh, I, I didn't really like to really exactly like to show my face, um, truth being told, because I was a little bit heavier and I was very insecure about that. And of course, sometimes when you're a bigger person, sometimes people, some people kind of will kind of you know, give you the third degree because of that. Um, just cause that's just the way it is. Um, <clears throat> but not everybody does that just to sometimes it can affect some people. Cause you know, of course, when you show your face, you're talking, you're moving your hands, you're expressing yourself, <laughs> you know, um, you know, it's just the way it is when you first start doing YouTube. So the confidence and then, you know, that's the second thing. The second thing is a big one. Um, don't put yourself down. When you're a YouTuber, don't be, don't be don't belittle yourself. Don't put yourself down. Don't talk yourself. Don't talk down about yourself. But then at the same time, don't go around stepping on other. Don't go stepping around on other people's toes. You know, because sometimes this is like where the YouTube drama comes in. <clears throat> is when some people try to step on other people's toes, and then that's when you get this like this YouTube drama and all this stuff that does not help the community. It actually creates a tremendous amount of toxicity, which is not positive for you and your viewers and for your for your health and the health of your viewers. Bren L, shout out to you. How are you today? <coughs> we got Bren L in the chat. What's going on with you, Bren L? How, how is your uh, Wednesday going so far? So yeah, so so that that's like the second thing. Um, this this is this is for um, Dong Tudor. How are you today? We got Dong in the chat. So that's like the second thing, um, you know. But then don't go around. And then also another thing, the second thing that I was talking about. Um, as I was saying, you don't go stepping on people's toes. But don't, another thing that's not a good thing too is to become overly, overly aggressive and like really, really passive aggressive along with arrogance. Um, I mean, I've struggled with that since I've been on YouTube. Sometimes the act of defiance can be interpreted as just flat out arrogance um, because some of the bigger channels, it, it just comes out that you, you become arrogant because you don't know what else to do. You're, you're trying to get somewhere. You're not getting it done. So sometimes you show an act of defiance is like a form of power. And then the arrogance and the meabugness starts to come out because you don't know what else to do to get it, to get it, get it done on YouTube. And it's just, um, you know, it's just part of just the way, way it is sometimes. It's like showing an act of defiance. That's all part of the second thing. Because when nothing's working, the one thing that you have left is, is yourself and your soul in your spirit. So if everything else fails, that's the last one of the one of the last resorts to you know getting somewhere. <laughs> it's just it's just human. It, it it's just human nature for a lot of people just want to be king, they want to reign supreme, they want to go on top. And but the the reality is when you start doing that, when you start going higher and higher, there's always a price to be paid for that. Um <laughs> It's um, sometimes clout is not a, is not a, uh, is not a, um, let me not miss the chat here. So sometimes clout can be a very bad thing, but at the same time, it can be a good thing. But on the other hand, there can be like a bad type of clout. You know, you get the type of clout that, you know, and, and as you go on your clout, then you have to know how to deal with that. So the reality is, if you go about gaining your clout in the wrong way, then that's where you're susceptible to trolling. You know, it just kind of happens. It happens to all of us on YouTube. On YouTube, and uh, um, you know, it, it it is as long as you don't go too fast. If you go up too fast, you don't know how to handle it. 
And some people don't know about that. They think, oh, wow, I'm getting all this new cloud. I got all these new viewers. I got 100 people in my chat. And it's like, oh, wow, this is good. <clears throat> but then there's, there's, there's sometimes it changes. You know, it changes when you start getting farther along. And sometimes a lot of people don't realize that. Um, and that, and that's a very powerful thing because the thing that I want to say is, as I was talking about, the second thing is, <clears throat> as you get farther along and you get your clout and you start getting somewhere, I don't know if you guys know this, but you also become a little bit more vulnerable. And the reason why that can happen is because you become more emotional because you're like, wow, I'm getting excited. I'm getting more people in my live stream. I'm getting more in my chat. You know, and then of course, as you become a more emotional you become more vulnerable. <laughs> but now everybody's different. People are different. But I'm saying that goes along. Because, of course, when you're happier, you're more emotional. Like, for example, you put up a video. Like my son, my son's YouTube channel. <clears throat> he uh, made two new videos, and he grew about almost 2,000 subscribers. So what happens is your emotions start to run a little higher because you're getting more happy. And then sometimes there's this energies that come around that are, you know, they are what they are. It is what it is. It's, no, it's nothing bad. It just is what it is. So you have to, um, yeah, Kelly, are you just, no, no, I'm not. No, no, I'm not. Absolutely not. I, I want the best for, um, I, I want Barry the Boss to do well on YouTube. I'm not trying to mimic him. I actually want him to do better. I want his channel to grow. I want him to make more money. I want him to get all the cake that he ever desires. Um, to answer your question, uh, Skip Archie. Uh, yes, I'm talking about my son Riley, uh, Barry's Fried Chicken. He made two YouTube videos, and his thing about grew about almost 2,000 subscribers. And then the third thing, how you start <coughs> growing on YouTube, how you really promote your YouTube channel is right through YouTube. That's the third thing. You got promote through YouTube, Facebook, Reddit, TikTok, Instagram, and all those things. That's the third thing, along with the other two things that I just I just talked about. Mm, excuse me. Okay, so um so anyway, um Barry's fried chicken, you know that I see that comment there, so I'll answer your question how you make that happen. I'm not going to repeat what you just said, but you got YouTube promotions. You can promote through YouTube, and then what happens is if you do enough promoting through YouTube or whatever legitimate service that you want to use, eventually people just come out of nowhere, and then that manifests uh, Barry's Fried Chicken. It doesn't matter that it may be weeks or months. Just like that, you could get a brand deal. Just sometimes things just come out of nowhere. And the and the along with the third thing is, is you have to have consistency. You have to be consistent every day. You want to have your consistency and your motivation. Your motivation, your motive excuse me, your consistency along with your motivation is really uh, it's really important. And your self-confidence. All three things are tied in together, but the self confidence is is it, okay. Nicholas Peel, let me drop your link. Let me not get talking a hundred miles an hour. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, that that's along with your self confidence and your motivation and your inspiration, and um, just don't and don't get overly emotional. If you get too overly emotional, because your channel is growing at a dizzying pace. Be careful because if you get too emotional, you become emotionally vulnerable. So human nature is, is like I want more. I want to. I want to. I want to grow my YouTube channel more. I want to get it really going because your emotions run high, and then when your emotions run high, then that's the time that you can make foolish mistakes, where you try to do things that are not the best decision because your emotions are running rampant. <laughs> you know? When your emotions run rampant, that's when you make a bad decision. Well, you're welcome, Nicholas Peel. So, uh, you know, and sometimes when people start doing YouTube, their channel's growing, they're getting lots of views. Of course, you become emotional, you become vulnerable, and then then before you know it, you're doing irrational irrational spending. And that's not it's not a it's not a good thing, you know. <laughs> 
But there again, everybody's different. You know, everybody's different. You know, we're all not the same. You know. <clears throat> so that those are like the three things right there. So as the stream goes on, we'll kind of get into the fourth and the fifth. I don't want to go too fast because, um, you know, let's just kind of e easily go in there because we got other things to talk about. Andy, how are you today? We got Andy in the chat. What's going on with you, Andy? <clears throat> so I got a question. Um, why is why is Barry why has Barry not been streaming? Um, I know there's a lot of Barry's supporters in the chat here. I I kind of don't understand why he's not been live streaming on YouTube. Um, so I I was a little surprised about that. So hopefully everything's okay with him. Um, I, he's got to get it done. Um, so, um, okay. So anyway, how you doing? We got Nitro in the chat. What's going on with you, Nitro? <clears throat> so how's the air quality in your place, uh, Nitro? Hopefully the air quality in your place is probably, <clears throat> it's probably okay. Here it's actually very bad. <laughs> Yeah, so that was just that was just a one little comment and now we're done. So um okay, so anyway, everybody connect to Nitro's YouTube channel. Uh okay, Andy. Okay, so now we'll we'll stop the discussion. We're not gonna um we're not gonna um we're not gonna talk about that anymore. I apologize to you guys in the chat. So the air is kind of crappy here. Uh yeah, here Nitro, it's terrible here too. Today it's very bad here. I went outside, but I didn't stay outside too long um, because they told us not to. <clears throat> okay, Skip Archie, I sure hope so. I'd like to see that and make a comeback with uh, to get it done. You start growing your channel. You start, you know, having a lot of good things happen. I, I want to see that. So, yeah, I'll say, so now on to the next subject. Um, because when you put your work in, you put your time in and... You know, you got to get something out of it. You don't want to put all that work. <laughs> Barry's Justice for Michael Portnoy. Um, I don't know what that means, um, Barry's Fried Chicken. Michael Portnoy is welcome to come in here. I just don't see him. Um, um, so I don't know what's going on with Michael Portnoy. Um, so I see that comment. Um, Barry's Fried Chicken. There was never any injustice to begin with. Uh, so... <laughs> Um, me and me and Michael Portnoy just had a little misunderstanding and okay. Now we're seeing number ones. What's, what's going on with the number ones here? All right. Um, how come is everybody saying number one in the chat? What's going on with the number ones? Oh, okay. Oh, okay. I didn't know that. I, I didn't. Okay. Okay, so I see everybody typing one in the chat. Aaron P. Oral Ali and Skip Archie and Barry's Fried Chicken. So how come everybody in the chat's typing one? Um. Oh, okay, okay. Is this about to doing a panel? 50 Cent, how are you today? Okay. All right, so this is about the panel. Is this about a panel? Okay, so okay, so if people want a panel, then okay. <laughs> they want you on the panel again. Twenty three, yeah, twenty three, yes. Um, Barry's fried chicken. That's because of the title of the video. That was the first thing that I talked about on YouTube. When you put up the right titles, it's a trending title. So of course, new people are going to come in the chat. I don't know if you were here earlier, but that is a very powerful thing is the research bar to use on YouTube for your YouTube videos and your live streams. Money over honeys, how are you today? Same as what you, um, okay, money over honeys, how are you? How's business? How's, how's your money manifestations going today? Shout out to you, money over honeys. So, um, <clears throat> okay, so that's good. It's an interesting stream today. Uh, okay, thank you. Uh, um, 
Maybe that's true, Nitro. I see your comment there. Um, that that's probably possible because you when you do ban somebody, I would agree with that. Um, I think if you know, I think you should always be acceptance of everybody. Um, so um, okay. Um, one second over money over honeys. I got to pay attention to the chat here. Okay. Uh, anyway, okay. Um. Um, what, what are, why are you asking me? Cause I like to ask questions, money over honeys. I like to ask questions cause I'm, a, I always ask questions. That's just the way I am. I'm like a little kid. I always have a question and I always like an answer. That's just the way I am. I will always be that way. That's how you learn. Cause my goal is, is to learn one new thing every day. Just like when you go to school, when you go to a classroom every day, you want to learn one new thing. So that's the reason why money over honeys, I always ask questions because you're supposed to ask questions. You're supposed to, you're actually supposed to question everything. If you don't really know the answer, that's why you ask. What's up, Ryan Clark? Shout out to you. So that's not, that's, I'm not attacking you money over honeys. I'm just saying it's always good to ask the chat questions. <laughs> it shows me that people are actually watching and they're being engaged. That's one thing that's important when you do YouTube is, is, is to talk to your audience. BJ Games, how are you today? <coughs> Excuse me. So just so you all know, um, Keith Jenkins is going live tonight. So I want to say something in the stream tonight. I was really hoping a lot more people would come in the stream, and I was hoping that they would stay till the end of the stream. So I just wanted to say that. So Keith is going to go live tonight. I think around, I think around seven forty ish. Um. Um. No money over honeys. I like to ask questions anytime I want to. You have the right to do that, too. That's part of, um, you know, that's called a limited belief system if I don't ask questions. Okay, anyway, all right. So, did everybody connect to Nitro's YouTube channel? Let me drop Nitro's link again. Maybe we can, uh, maybe we can get, the, get the boss here in the chat, too. Maybe we can get a lot of stuff fixed on YouTube. Because I know a lot of people are, think of what they're thinking. So, um, my, my goal also on these streams is also is to... Um, is is to fix a lot of the stuff on YouTube, um, you know. And one thing that is important is always we always seek for the truth. <clears throat> um, no, that's not true. Berry's fried chicken. Despite, um, oh, I thought it was every night. G off North Cake three times a week. Okay, I thought that was almost every day. I didn't know that. Okay, so, all right. Thank you for the comment. G off North Coat at Baird Pit. Um, okay. So, thank you for saying that. I appreciate that, G off. Okay. Uh, <laughs> that's a good one, Aaron P. Very good comment. <laughs> I know the chat was probably enjoying that. Um, so, okay. Let's, let's go into that. Let's go into that part of the discussion. Okay. So, a lot of people, or some people, want to be the boss of YouTube. Okay, so what that boils down to is basically being consistent, getting views, and then when you live, you, you, hold, you get people in your chat. So in order to be, I guess if you want to call the top dog of YouTube or the boss, um, you have to actually be the boss. And you actually have to kind of do like, um, kind of like the way uh, Nitro does on his YouTube channel. Um, <clears throat> um, and that's by, uh, by, by, by not lying to your viewers and actually being truthful. That's step one to being, to being the boss. Um, and number two is, is, is just, just don't lie to your viewers about something that might have happened. I think you should always come clean about everything that you've done on YouTube. I don't think you ever, ever should ever run away from anything. Cause if you run away from everything or you ban people, because they want to know the truth, that that is a very bad that's a very bad omen. Um, because eventually, on YouTube, it's always going to catch up to you no matter what. That's why you have trolls. The trolls will always come in. They'll always dig it out of you. And um, so, in the end, I hate to say this, but kind of in, in the end, the trolls actually can kind of win on people. Um, Well, yeah, I would kind of agree with that at this point. Um, you know. Okay. Uh, 
Okay, well, hold on. Let me read the comment. The chat's starting to pick up today. Uh, so now we're getting new people in the stream. This is better today. At least everybody has been a very... Uh, thank you, Barry's Fried Chicken. Well, that's what I... That is my goal, is to run a very powerful stream. Um, that's why I made the title that I made. I've already talked about the top three things to promote your YouTube channel. Um, so we've kind of went over the, about the research bar. I know a lot of people didn't know that. I think, I'm sure Nitro knew about that. And then the second thing was to, um, it was to, um, is to be consistent, um, and, and to, um, talk to your viewers. <clears throat> that was the second thing. And then the third thing is just don't lie to people. Don't lie and be truthful. And then, and then have your sense of security. Don't, don't. Be afraid to fully express yourself. Sometimes people get on YouTube, they do a live stream, they make a video. They're, they're scared to fully express themselves. And that right there is a very bad thing, and that can harm you. You know, and I've had some, I had some earlier in the chat say to me, well, just be you. Death Row was in the chat here earlier, and he was just saying, you know, just be you. So, yes, he's right. You, you always have to just be you, and then just be honest. Don't lie. YouTube's the one platform that I noticed that um, if, if you're not telling the truth, um, <coughs> then it, it, it kind of comes to you more than, um, because I, I think what's happened on the world YouTube platform, I think in the past there's been a lot of people that have just kind of lied, not told the truth. And that's why, like, on the world of YouTube, you get so much trolling. Um, it's just kind of been like that. Um, so once you... Make sure that you you're, uh, tell the truth and you're always transparent about everything. Then it, everything is fine. So that, that was, those are like the top three things. So as we continue on with the stream and as the chat starts to pick up, then we're going to go into the fourth thing and then the fifth thing. <clears throat> Excuse me about how to... Uh, okay, once, okay, give me one second here. Let me, let me read the comments. Um, the chat has moved a little faster today, so give me one second here. Let me get caught up on the chat. Okay, where the top five is going. Uh, trust me, money over honeys is actually very powerful, and it does work. And it does work. And the thing is, the thing the good thing about it is you don't have to spend money to do that. That's the good thing. Um, because that's a big thing, because you got Facebook, you got... Facebook, Reddit, TikTok, Instagram, all the social sites. And, of course, now you can promote right on through YouTube. But, you know, anyway, we're not talking about that. Um, <clears throat> Kelly, what's the the top number one way to promote your channel organically? The number one thing that you do to promote, okay, this, this, is, where it, this is where it really gets really in interesting, is if you can create a Facebook group. If you can create a Facebook group either on Instagram or Facebook or Reddit and you build this group um, and then more and more people come into that and then more people get to know who you are, that that is – now, are you guys wanting to know how to promote your channel without spending any money, right? That that's is that is that the question, Nitro? Because there's two different ways you can go on with that question. Okay, let's. I'll answer both of them. <clears throat> the, well, the the first way, like the way you say it, is through Facebook, because Facebook has over two billion active users. I have a very different view. Uh, okay, what what is your view, Nitro? What what is your view? Um, that that's just one thing, the Facebook, and then but now if you wanted to, um, your the research bar on your YouTube channel, that that's one big one. The research bar, <clears throat> but I was saying that now I'm starting. Hold on, <clears throat> hold on. Let me get caught up on the comments. Now I'm starting to lose my focus. Uh, hold on, give me one second, guys. Here I, I'm. I'm starting to lose a little bit of focus. Uh, okay, Discord. That's yeah. That's another one. Discord is one, but the number one um, compelling content number one bar. Uh, the research bar. I like the research bar. That. Is, I think, well, yeah, that's what I was trying to say, Nudger. That's what I was saying, getting under the communities, like through Facebook. Um, YouTube has communities, but if you find the, um, uh, no, okay, all right, so, okay. Yeah, the community is, right, the communities, 
So sometimes you can't find them on YouTube, you find them on Facebook, and then you go over to YouTube. Um, but the best way to do that <clears throat> is through YouTube. Is Yeah, because Facebook is Facebook, and then you got YouTube. So yeah, the number one is the community, number two is the... Right. Uh, I wouldn't agree with that research bar, um, Oral Ali. I actually use that. Oral Ali, I got a confession. I'll tell you the truth. I have something I want to tell you. Do you remember the stream where I made <coughs> the stream where who is the boss of the Thailand gen gen genre? Well, I used my research bar, and by me doing that, that day I got 110 people in my chat. Now, now grant the fact, all of Nitro's community came in, and then Barry, and then Capio, and then maybe some other people. But the research bar did play kind of a big role on that. But there was other factors. One second, VJ Games, I'll show you. UK Medic, how are you today? Yes, networking. Networking is, yes, networking. Networking, yes. Networking through the right communities. Kings RC, how are you today? So networking, yes, with a very strong community. When you have a very, like, you know, very, very tight community, that that's a really big one. And those can be a little challenging to find. The, um, is the... Community, and then also, of course, your content. Your content, you know, <clears throat> is, yeah, is, yes. Yes, we, uh, you're discussing the top five ways. Yes, I am, Kings RC. I know there's new people coming in the chat here. Okay, or Ali, I didn't know that he was boosting. Okay. Um, I know, another thing is I want to say that's very important. Don't boost your live stream. Don't boost your numbers because... That, that just shows that you're being fraudulent, actually, in the world of YouTube. So that goes along with the third thing that I was saying. <clears throat> so that's a very bad thing to do is when you boost your numbers. and um... Now, if you boost it through YouTube, that's not boosting. If you, for example, okay, I, I'll just tell you this, and you, you can do this too if you want to, and a lot of people are probably not going to like what I'm going to say, but you could take a hundred bucks and promote your live stream right through YouTube, and then they give you a, a credit, and then you could do like paid ads through YouTube. So as long as you do everything through YouTube, <clears throat> that's not boosting. That's actually doing real YouTube advertising. Yeah, right. UK Medic, let me drop your link. So I know so I'm reading all the comments there. Everybody's uh, saying some stuff there. I'll just say this, and I've been reading everything. Uh, but, you know, Geoff, Northcake, and Famous, I just want to say, I see your comment there. That As of right now, that's true. But always remember, when you're the actual boss of YouTube... A real boss never really tells all of his secrets. And just be aware when a person is very quiet and they're not talking about what they're doing on YouTube and they haven't been around for a while, don't, don't think that they ran away. Sometimes the silence is very powerful. <laughs> I'm not saying that to, to, to promote him. I'm not saying that. But I'm just saying it, it can be like it can be like a snake in the grass. It kind of slithers and and then when you least expect it, they just they they come out of nowhere at you. So don't forget that. Just always remember, you got you're looking at a person that um, made it might have made a mistake before, but just be aware that. He could get into some money, and then he could promote through YouTube, and then all of a sudden his channel would explode. You know, you can do that. You know, if you're the real boss, let me give you an example. You could take $500, and you could promote your, um, your live streams through YouTube. You know, and then all of a sudden, there's a shift. Um, <laughs> so anyway, let, let's not talk about that. I'm just saying that. 
And, you know, anybody can do that. Um, you know, uh, Capio can do that too. I mean, everybody, um, you know. So anyway, but anyway, but if you deliver good content, you know, I, I think you were all, I, I'm just, I'm just simply telling the truth because YouTube has changed so much from last year. Now, last year, you could not promote through YouTube. It was totally different. Um, my son actually did King's RC. My son actually took a hundred dollars. He promoted through YouTube and he made it back through his ad revenue. Cause I asked him, I said, Riley, how are you promoting your YouTube channel? So he told me he's doing it through YouTube. And then I said, did you make your money back? He goes, yes, I did. But the thing is he didn't make more than what he put in. So that, that's kind of a, um, <clears throat> but now, now let's talk about this. Nitro said about content. So now if your content is really, really good, then it pays off. Then it pays off if you have really, really, really good content. So then that could pay off. But anyway, let's go back to the part where you don't spend to promote through YouTube. Basically what we're all looking here is we're talking about the free version, how to promote your YouTube channel. That, that's, what, that's what basically everybody's looking at is the top – Ways, uh, Flavon Vianche, how are you today? I'm trying to see with the posse. It, it's just a saying, UK medic. It, it's just the boss is just something just to get attention. A lot of people like that. People do that, UK medic, just to get attention. Because, of course, when you do a live stream, everybody wants to get attention. You always want to get noticed, like, oh, looky me, looky me. That, that's just YouTube. You, you know that. Everybody in the chat knows that. But the boss, you know, the way I look at it is just a power thing. It's just a power thing. It, that's the way I see it. It's just about power dominance and getting it done. That That's all that is when people say that and, and do that. That's the way I see it. I, I don't take that so seriously like I used to. <laughs> because if you're going to do that, um, you know... You have to back up what you say. You have to back it up. Because if not, if you don't back up what you say, then people will be like, man, F you. I'm out of here. This is just a bunch of BS. And then people just, they don't like it. But my philosophy, if you're going to say you're the boss, by God, you better do it. <laughs> I mean, that's it. Um, you know, Flavin Nesta, how are you today? And, you know, um. UK medic, don't, wouldn't you agree with that? When you say you're you're gonna be the the boss, I mean, um, copy power. Do you feel um, copy paste at certain times? I do, at certain times I do, but I've kind of learned that I have to kind of back off a little bit because the interpretation is, and I've had a lot of my friends tell me this outside of YouTube that I'm coming off like I'm a very arrogant YouTuber, and I don't like people seeing me in that type of light. It doesn't make me feel good. I mean, I've said all the stuff that I said. But in the right conditions, copy-paste, I, I can. I can if I just applied to what I'm talking about. But of course, once you start something, you have to finish it. That's the whole thing. You can't start with something and just not finish it. It's, 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 it's not healthy. Um, you know, and I was taught that by my mom. If you start something, you need to finish what you started. <clears throat> so the boss thing is just a lot of people just like that on YouTube. I don't know why everybody is so into that. It, it just is what it is. Resident Evil, how are you today? Resident Evil. Copy paste, how are you today? <clears throat> Let me drop your link. Copy paste, how are you today? Shout out to, uh, if Barry sent you, thank you. I appreciate that. So th this stream is basically is the top five ways to promote your YouTube channel. I'm here trying to support other people the best way I can. Okay. Uh, da, 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 da. UK Medic, shout out to you. Um, okay, let me ask you guys a question in the chat. Th this is a very good question. Okay, this is a very good question. This, this We're going to kind of get into this. Do, do you guys in the chat like to see someone act arrogant on YouTube? Type yes or no in the chat if you do. No if you don't, yes if you do. I'd like to know that. i got 30 people in the chat right now. Do you guys like an arrogant YouTuber? Someone that shows off, that 
is just really, really just wants to be full of hot air and power. Do you guys like that? Okay, Joe Public, you do not. Okay, some people do and some people don't. So I like to know, okay, okay, I, I want to know because, you know, one thing about when you do a YouTube, you kind of got to give what your audience wants. So that's why it's good to <laughs> ask a question. <laughs> Okay, so no from Joe Public, no from my, okay. Okay, I didn't, okay. Okay, thank you. Metrosonic, how are you today? All right, so if I if I miss some of your comments, I apologize. I, I do have 32 people in the chat. This is a little more than uh, what I was saying, but that's about where I was thinking. I'm, <clears throat> I'm more of a chill guy. Okay, active defiance, yes, active defiance is not arrogance. So Ryan Clark, shout out to you. So yeah, so the act of defiance, okay, but but see the thing is sometimes things get interpreted as arrogance, and that's not a um, <clears throat> and I um, you know I, I've been told that by my friends, um, and it's not none of you guys on YouTube talk. Well, I've had maybe one. I had someone told me that, but I'm not gonna say their name. They told me I was actually being a little bit arrogant, but I've had a, a lot. Of, some of my friends told me that I'm very arrogant, and then some of my um. Relatives, I'm not gonna say who they are. They they've said that, and I'm like, okay, um, you know. So so basically, it's not arrogance. It's, it's a okay. Um, copy paste. <clears throat> okay, everybody, please please connect to Metrosonic's YouTube channel. Yo, you always you have to have the you have to have the mindset. Okay, let me read that. You have to have the mindset. Not everyone is going to. Yes, that's that's correct. That is very true. I'll be more run. Shout out to you. We got be more run in the chat. How are you today? Be more run. Haven't seen you for a long time. How are you today? Oh, thank you. Be more run. I want to. I want to tell you something. Be more run. The other day when I came into your stream, I think it was like about a week or two ago. I appreciate you telling me what you told me. I, I took that seriously, what you said, and I actually appreciate that. So after you told me that, I was like, okay, maybe Be More Run is actually right. So after you told me that, I, I kind of um, I, I kind of took that. I kind of liked that you just told me straight. You didn't do it behind my back. So I really appreciate that. So I wanted to thank you again, Be More Run, for just telling me straight. That was that was a very good thing that you did, and I, and I like that. <laughs> Okay, Be More Run gets, uh, well, yes, because Be More Run is actually, he's actually in Thailand, in Patea, Patea, so there's a lot of things going on there. I hope you're doing okay in um, Thailand, uh, Be More Run. Hopefully you're, uh, hopefully you're uh, feeling pretty good and you're, and you're doing pretty good. I give you a lot of credit, Be More Run, how you're able to uh, work all those hours at DoorDash, uh, 12 to 16 hours a day, every day. I'm in, pl oh, oh, okay, you're in Plunkett with my future wife. Oh, okay, that's great. That's great. So you're actually going to get married, Be More Run. That's very good. That's very good. That's that's kind of what you want is find the right one. And then it's just, I think it's very healthy for you and your partner. And then um, the single man side of the game can... I think after a while, I think that can really just end up, I think it's hard because in the end, everybody just wants to have the right person. So when you're with the right person, then that person can help you with your YouTube channel. And then you work together as a team and that's a good thing. So, so, that, so I hope Be More Run, your future wife can help you with your YouTube channel. Uh, okay, that's good, Metrosonic. Okay, let me hold on. Let me miss the chat here. Not, we'll miss the chat here. Foxy friends. Whoa, I gotta use my other phone. Sorry, guys. <clears throat> okay, people are run. That's funny. <laughs> okay, Foxy friends. Okay, one second here. Let me, I, I don't want to lose the chat here. Let me, uh, 
So that's good. So if everybody just finds their right one. I mean, I'll tell you guys the truth. I mean, if I was single and I was doing YouTube, it'd be weird. I'll tell you guys the truth. It would be, it would be, um, yeah, I don't, I missed the out. I'd have more time on my hands. Um, but, you know, it's different when you're single versus when you're married. I mean, seriously. But now, when you're doing YouTube, I'll say this too, you definitely want to have your, you want to have to be with the right person because then that can help your channel. You don't want to get held back. Um, anyway, so this is not, that's, let's, let's not get onto that topic. That's not what this stream's about. Okay. <clears throat> My state of mind is always, oh, that's good, Ryan. <laughs> Sometimes, Ryan Clark, that probably is the best way. Um, you know, that, that can be a very good state of mind, actually, sometimes, <laughs> you know. But, um, but only if it's getting to the point where you're, it's really making you feel bad. That's when you're going to say, oh, well, you know, what can I do? So in that situation, Ryan Clark, yeah, you can be right. It's not good to be too uh, too serious. Too, too serious is not a good thing. Okay, I, you know what? I'm starting to get off the topic here. This this stream was about the top five ways to promote your YouTube channel. All right, let's get back on the track here. Resident Evil, let me drop your link. I think I've kind of missed some comments. If I've missed some of your comments, I'm sorry. I apologize. I got a little bit off the topic because I was reading comments in the chat. <coughs> it kind of happens when you're doing a stream to easily, um, to get off, um, <laughs> I'm taking the, I'll tell you the truth, I mean, I'll be honest with you, I actually kind of wish I could be in Thailand right now, just to see the place, eat the food, see what they have in the shopping malls, I actually, I would like to do that, if I had an, ever, ever had an opportunity, um, be more run, I, I would like to actually visit Thailand, just, 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 just to see, the sites, the um, the historical stuff, the places to eat, it'd be very interesting. I, I actually would really like to to experience that if I ever had the opportunity. Um, but not maybe not to do anything with YouTube because on YouTube, I almost think in Thailand it can be oversaturated. There, I don't know. You would probably know the answer to that. Be more run. About if you're in Thailand or like, or, or you know, or Cambodia or Vietnam, you know, going to Vietnam or Cambodia can be really nice too. Vietnam, I heard, is a really nice place to, um, you know, I heard about that too. <clears throat> okay. Hold on, let me make sure I'm not missing the chat here. All right. Okay. Hold on, let me, let me, oh. Okay. So now back to the, mm, excuse me. Mm, okay. So, um, yeah, so the top five ways to grow your YouTube channel. And, da, 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 da. okay, all right. So, um, no tattoos. Okay, here we go. Oh, here we go. Okay, I had to I had to reset my phone. Okay, so Be More Run says no tattoos, no kids, no plastic surgery. <laughs> okay, Be More Run, that's, that's very good. Hopefully you, you guys are an even match. <laughs> okay, <laughs> having a little bit of, um, um, okay, all right, uh, Resident Evil, okay, that'll be Kelly, I should make my own, okay, VJ Games, you asked me a question, Kelly, should I, yes, you should, VJ Games, answer your question, yes, you should make your own Facebook group, that definitely can help, that's one way, and then if you do that, I'd be very consistent with it. That is a very powerful thing to do. That's a very powerful thing to do. And then um, use the research bar, um, VJ Games. Okay, yep. Um, um, <laughs> Okay, uh, da, 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 da. 
Okay, would you? Uh, yes, I would, Nitro. I actually would take my wife, but my wife wouldn't want to go to the Thailand. She'd want to go to the Philippines. If I told her that I wanted to go there and I was going to go, she, she probably wouldn't go with me because she'd want to be with her family. So what would happen is I'd probably end up going by myself to to Thailand. And um, so with that being said, I would probably just end up going with a male friend, I guess. Um, yeah, um, be more run. Can you shotgun a beer is a good the question. <laughs> um, <clears throat> using popular, uh, yes, Foxy Friends. Foxy Friends, let me drop your link. Sorry that I've gotten a little bit off a of topic here. I'm just trying to respond to everybody's comments in the chat. Okay, um, Foxy Friends, yes, hashtags. Hashtags is very is very good. Hashtags for your YouTube videos. Hashtags is a very, very, uh, yes, it's very important. Um, and I actually, about a year ago, I didn't even know about that till a Nitro told me about it. Truth being told, I didn't know about that. We'll start dreaming. Uh, um, no, Kings RC, I'm... I have no reason to to even think of something like that. Kings RC, I'm I'm almost fifty years old. I've 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 done all that stuff before when I was single, Kings RC, and I'm I have learned if you do that, what happens. I experienced that firsthand from two thousand four from to two thousand seven when I was single. And it was bad. I had money hand over fist. I was single. It was not good. No good. So, but this stage, if if let's say that you know, I I wouldn't do that. I would I would actually keep my money and I would want to go to Thailand. I'd want to see the, the I'd want to see the sights. I'd want to eat the food, and you know, and just enjoy myself, but not go in there uh, with like that. I'm not going to do that. Um, yes, you can use hashtags on social medias. Yes. Okay, all right, copy paste. Um, no, I wouldn't. I um, no, it's not copy paste. This is not that type of channel. I um, I I don't do that. I, I'm married, so um, I know some people think that I kind of gravitate towards like that. Um, but I did get help, so yeah. Um, and, you know, and speaking of, of Barry, I actually wish he would find his his match so he could so she could help him with his youtube channel so uh, if barry could find his partner in crime then she could help him with his youtube channel by going on his panel and and helping him with the streams and th that would be nice i actually would like to see that so i think if if, if barry does the right things i i think that that will happen i think it will and I really hope it does. And I think he has the power to do it. But what he has to do is not be uh, beating himself down the way he is. And I'm, I'm going to talk about that. Um, Thailand is wasted on you. Um, well, yeah, I, I, I would just like to see it, uh, Mickey Pierce. I'd just like to go for a week just to see what it's like there. I've never been there. So, of course, when you're never somewhere, well, why not see it? I mean, I see it on YouTube, and I see, like, Be More Runs there, and I see what, what when he goes there, but it's different when you're actually physically there. Reginald, um, okay. Yes, the hashtags can be helpful. I'll say this. I, I definitely will say this. Uh, Barry definitely needs to go live on YouTube. You guys are definitely missing him. <laughs> I, can, I can read this stuff in the chat. So, uh, hopefully Barry the Boss will go live tomorrow because I, I think you guys really miss him. <laughs> I can feel the energy from you guys in the chat. So, I, I know you guys do because um, the type of that I'm seeing here in the stream, you guys miss him. So, some of you guys really miss him. So, hopefully he'll be, so hopefully, the, hopefully Barry will go live tomorrow and then he can make some of you guys in the chat a very happy. <laughs> I'll drop his link in the chat because a lot of his uh, supporters are here in the stream. So I'll put his link in the chat. Maybe he can get a few subscribers. 
But his channel is a singles man side of the game. That's what his channel is about. Um, so that there it is. Um, Flavo Von Nesta. That's this channel. That's the one that we're talking about. He hasn't went live for a while. So a lot of his supporters are in here and they're missing him. So I know that. So I thought I'll just drop his link. So maybe he'll get a few more subscribers and, you know, and, um, so yeah. So when, 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 when someone doesn't stream for a while, obviously they're missed. So I, I I'm seeing that here. <laughs> so, and, and, um, okay. VJ games. Okay. Let me read your con. I just, I'm just seeing what I'm I'm just being honest here. I'm being transparent. I'm being honest. I, I see a lot of people are missing that. So, <laughs> So I'm all about, okay, VJ Games says, Kelly, I have a problem with going live, going straight to the game. Is it a faster way to share out why I'm playing because people complain that I don't, ooh, wow. That's a good question, VJ Games. Um, how many people are complaining? Do you have everybody in your chat complaining about that VJ Games? That's a very, that's a very um, good question. That's a very powerful question. <clears throat> now, if everybody's complaining, um, okay, uh, Flavo asked me, hi, Kelly, Barry Boss isn't it? No, he's not. He's not an employee. He's actually the boss of his YouTube channel. So it rhymes with his channel, Barry the Boss. That's what he, that's what he's called. A lot of people like that for his YouTube channel. I think probably 10 of his supporters are here in the chat right now. So I know everybody misses him and that's why everybody's talking about him. So I figured I'll just drop his link. So then, you know, so some people know who he is. Um, then they'll, then when he goes live, then maybe he can get a whole bunch of hundred dollar super chats. <laughs> Uh, actually, yes, he is a baller. He He's a singles... His channel is about the singles man side of the game, and he tries... He's not a baller, but maybe at one time he could have been. I don't know, but at one time, from the way he described it, it sounded like he was when he had a lot of money from his businesses, from the way he portrays... And I kind of believe that because of the way he talks about his stuff on his channel. Yeah, he's kind of like a Rico Suave. Now, I'll say this. Um, you know, if I'll just say this to you guys in the chat. If Barry the Boss did get into a whole bunch of money, I'll just say it like this. If he had, you know, for example, if he just got like 50,000 pounds out of nowhere, um... I'll just say this, or actually, you know, let's make it a hundred thousand pounds. You know, let's let's go, let's or, or even okay, let's say this. Let's say he got a quarter of a million pounds. I'll just say this, and I know this for sure. With what he knows on YouTube, he probably actually probably would reign supreme because what he could do if he had the money, he could promote the heck out of his live streams right through YouTube, and then yeah, then he would, because then he would have his confidence back because he has the kind of money that he feels that he, he doesn't always have. So, yeah. Um, <clears throat> okay, let's see here. Uh, uh, yeah, Mitro said ACDC balls to the wall. Yeah. Just imagine if he had a quarter of a million pounds, what would happen on YouTube? You just think about that, guys. You know, that could happen. You know, you never know. He's been quiet a couple days, so it makes you guys wonder, like, hmm, what's Barry up to? So everybody's, like, scratching their head, like, oh, he's up to something. That's good that you guys miss him. I like that. Okay. Um, yes, does he have ex – um, yes, Flavo, I believe that he does. He's kind of talked about that. Um, okay. So um, – Barry lacks in confidence because he, f I, I'm sorry to say this in the stream. I don't want to say this, but you asked me a question. I'm going to answer it. Sometimes when guys get older, it's just normal to become a little more, 
I guess, feel how you feel because you're older. Maybe you put on some weight and just different things. So one big thing about when you become an older man, you should still like yourself. And I think you should still value yourself as, as a person because if everything else goes, at least if you still like yourself and you accept yourself for who you are and what you are, it's okay that you're getting older. That That's fine. So that that's what I saw. And I'm, I'm not talking negatively about him. That's just what I saw. Um, so, you know, anyway. Um, so, but I understand when men get older, they will always want to have lots of money because sometimes some men think, oh, I need to have lots of money because then it's easy to, to, to strike up a conversation. You start to talk and chat and then you, you traditionally pick up the, the, the person in your car, you take them out to a nice restaurant and you, you know, you do what traditionally men used to do throughout history. So in the old traditional way of man, that's the way it's done. But the reality is it's not a man's world anymore. Men and women now are more equal now than they used to be. Women are more because, like a long time ago, men and men and women weren't treated equally. So now, in twenty twenty three, actually, there's more. There's more. They're more equal. So a lot of us older guys sometimes don't. You got to realize, like, how can I say this? And everybody's not agree with it. But but sometimes a man's not dominant. But sometimes, like with ladies, they want to have a a man that takes control, but it's different now because men and women in this time are more equal than they used to be. So that that's why now sometimes like older guys, they, I mean, I'm getting way off a of topic here. I'm, I'm only saying all this stuff because you're asking me questions about that. So I'm trying to say something that helps everybody. Okay. So, this this is how you okay. I, I want to say this, and I want to get off this topic because I, I I'm I'm trying to be inspiring. I'm trying to be motivating. The way the life was twenty years ago is never going to be that way again. We are now in twenty twenty three. What what the way it was back in like the early two thousands? It's not like that now. Like in Thailand, it's never going to be that way again. Now, people, men and women are more equal. So. A lot of older guys sometimes have to learn to accept that. And and just if you meet someone, like if you meet, meet a female and they're making four times what you make, just be happy for them. Don't try to compete with them. Don't try to be like the man. Oh, I should make more money than you. No, no, no. That's a very, very bad, very bad thing to do to yourself. My mom, I shouldn't say this on a live stream, but it's okay because this is a long, long time ago. My mom and my stepfather from a long time ago, actually got divorced because of that. Because my mom actually took back her power as a woman and she started making three times what my stepfather made. So my stepfather was an older man. He couldn't accept that. He couldn't handle it. So you know what happened? Zip! They got divorced. My mom went off and became a very, very successful businesswoman. And then my stepfather stayed back in Ohio and never got to be his greatest version because he was so caught up in this idea like, why is it like that? But he was not smart enough to accept that the world is changing. So when the world changes, you have to accept what it changes into. Okay, so now enough of that. I'm, I'm done with that discussion. I don't want to keep going on with that. Um, you know, so anyway. Um, and the thing is, when you, another thing is, when you get older, you have to accept the fact that you're an aging. You're aging, you're getting older, things are changing. You have to accept that. You can never change, you can never be what you were 30 years ago. Everybody changes, everybody grows old, we all eventually die, and then that's just life. So you have to accept that. So what you have to embrace is the fact that you're becoming older and you have to accept that and you have to adapt to it. And that's it, that's very simple. Um, you know, like for me, I accept the fact that I'm heavier, I'm older, maybe I have a little bit of arthritis, but I accept that. I'm like, well, that's life. You know, I'm not going to live forever. <laughs> okay. 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 Now I'm, I need to get back on the topic here. <sighs> Let me take a deep breath. And, and you know, another thing is too, sometimes the truth hurts. Like they say in life, no pain, no gain. 
So sometimes if you know something that's true, that can hurt you, but at the end of the at the end of the day, you still have to accept the hurt that people are telling you. Just like for me, before when I used to do my YouTube channel, I would say some of this some of the stuff that I shouldn't have been saying. So then someone finally told me the truth to my face. I was like, okay, you know what? You're right, and I'll work on it. So then after that, I, I took that. I knew that was right, and then I just started gradually changing. So you have to accept what you're changing into. I personally think when you're becoming an older man, I think it's better because you have more wisdom. You know more things about this and that, and you're not going to get you're not going to make a mistake. You know, so I, I, you know, I just want to say that. Just, just accept things which you're turning into. You can never bring back what you had 20 years ago. Nobody can. I can't. I can't. I can never go back and do what I did 20 years ago. It's just a fact of life. I mean, you have to accept that. I mean, you can't forget about your past. Just don't dwell on it. Oh, I can't do that anymore. Oh, it's okay, you know. You're not always a 21-year-old young buck. <laughs> you got to accept yourself. I don't know. Uh, it's weird that I'm talking. Okay, so um, Stephen vlogs how are you today. So I'm getting way off the discussion. But the reason why I keep talking about this is because I have a lot of um, Barry supporters in my chat. So if, if Barry's or boss is in the chat here, I'm, I'm trying to see something. So when he, he does the streams, he, he's, you know, he's... Not gonna sit there and beat himself down the way he is, because I, I don't like that to see an older guy doing that to himself. It actually makes me feel pretty bad. Um, you know. Okay, so continuing on, this stream was about the top five ways to get it done on YouTube, or the top five ways to promote your YouTube channel. So I've gone way off the topic. <laughs> okay, all right. So now, hold on. Okay, most of Barry's. Um, yes, I know Joe Public. That that's that's true. That is true. Um, Joe Public, I know that to be true. Um, because the reason. Okay, all right. So Ryan Clark said, "Let's get on with the fourth thing." Okay, the fourth thing. Okay, now give me a couple of minutes. Actually, guys, give me a second. I need to take my. I need to take a deep breath. Give me one second. I know sometimes when I do these streams, I do talk way too fast. So I have been trying to type it, uh, pipe it down a little bit. Okay, and if I miss some of your comments, I apologize. Okay, um, Keith Jenkins, how are you today? We got Keith in the chat. I, I know I miss some of you guys. I apologize. The chat's been really fast today. The chat's been moving. Oh, so don't forget, guys. Keith is going live tonight at um, uh, your live stream tonight is starting at 7.50. So at 7.50 tonight, which is about an hour and about two hours from now, you'll be going live. So Keith is going live. So I hopefully when a lot of people start coming in the chat, I really hope they stay from start to finish because Keith doesn't go live very often. So I just wanted to say that again. So if everybody goes to Keith Jenkins' live stream, hopefully, if if you're going to be live for three hours, Keith, hopefully everybody can be there from start to finish. I'm not trying to be harsh on the chat by saying that, but when someone takes $23,000 and spends it for everybody on YouTube, that's something that should be realized. Um, for me, if I spent $23,000 on people on YouTube, I would expect them to be with me from start to finish, especially if I didn't go live, maybe, but maybe once every two weeks or three weeks. Um, and I'm not trying to be harsh by saying that, but that's just how I feel. <laughs> okay, now, let me, I'm, I, I, I have not, I'm getting off topic here. Okay. Okay. Okay, all right. Okay, Foxy Friends, let me drop your link again. All right. Sorry about all this, Foxy Friends. I know I'm going way off a of topic. I've had so many of Barry's supporters in the chat, so I can't just ignore everybody. Okay. Your freak was using a laptop thing, so okay. You don't... No, that's right, Andy. That's true. You're absolutely right. You can't buy anything. Just same thing on YouTube. 
Just like on YouTube, you can't force people to watch your videos and you can't force them to subscribe to you. That's right. You there's you there's some things in this world you can't buy. It's the same thing with YouTube. Same thing on YouTube. Um All right. Um, okay. Okay. Thank you, Foxy friends. I'm glad you're enjoying it. I'm trying to accommodate everybody. I, I know the topic is, is the five ways to promote your YouTube channel. So now the fourth thing, <clears throat> the fourth thing, the fourth thing is, <laughs> I've already covered three. So the fourth thing that you have to do, hold on, let me just rub my face a little bit because I, I want to do this right. I, I did the three fine, but now I'm having a problem spitting out the fourth thing. <laughs> the fourth thing is, is about, um, hold on, give me a minute here. I've, I got to remember the first three things. I said, I need to write this stuff down. You know, I'm getting to the point now when I do these live streams, I need to have a pen and piece of paper and I need to actually write this down topic for topic. Um, because sometimes I do this stuff kind of as I, as I kind of think. Um, so the fourth thing to promote your YouTube channel is, is a lot, was a lot to do with the groups and the, um, promoting through YouTube. That was the third thing. But the fourth thing is, is you have to be, if you're a live streamer, you want to try to be positive to the community. But now on some channels, it's, it's different. But my philosophy is, is to be, is to, um, is to be inspiring and not negative to the community. Uh, just, um, it, so yeah, the fourth thing, excuse me, is, is, all the negativity and drama is is not a good thing. It might be funny at first, but in the long run, it's not a good. <coughs> it's not a very good thing. Um, it creates unnecessary stress on the heart and the brain and on your health. So if you could be okay, okay, you know it goes like this. Okay, let me say it like this. Let me let me start over. The fourth, the most important thing is. Whatever you're talking about or whatever you're doing on YouTube, make sure that you're enjoying it. Because if you're not enjoying it, your audience and your viewers are not going to connect with you on that. Because when people see that you're not enjoying what you're doing, they can pick up on that. They can be like, ah, oh, well, you don't seem like you're really into it. You don't really seem like you're really trying to do what you're saying. So if you like what you're talking about and you like what you're saying, that is very powerful. That's the fourth thing. Doing what you like, saying what you like, but of course stay within community guidelines and and try not to drive away your viewers by telling lies or being doing deceptive practices. So you have to really enjoy what you're saying. That That's a hard one. But that's the fourth thing that I have to say for to <clears throat> for to, to ways to promote your YouTube channel. So when you like what you do, then it shows in your face. That's the fourth thing. And then the and then so that's the fourth thing. The four things. I still got one left. One last one. Um Yes, yes, that's right, Reggie. Okay, uh, okay, thank you, Andy. I appreciate that. Um, <laughs> I wasn't doing a five point bulletin copy paste. This is not Barry's channel, this is my channel. I'm not copying him, I'm not doing that. He, he's the boss of his channel. So I appreciate the comment. Okay. All right. Let me read the chat here. Okay. Okay. So uh, thank you, copy paste. And the fifth one's going to be a good one. Th this is going to be a good one right here because I'm reading the comments. Okay. 
right. Um, Kelly, do you have a community? Andy, uh, I have, I have a, a lot of people that like to come in here and watch me, and I, I do have some very loyal supporters. Yeah, I have a community. But sometimes it it's kind of it kind of comes and goes depending on my mood, depending on what the title is to my stream. Like today, it was a pretty good title, so it kind of got people interested. Because you know, I think YouTube has been dead here lately. So when YouTube is dead, some people that want to get somewhere they get a little frustrated. So here lately, I think there could be a little bit of frustration, but we're all kind of not really go hawking about it too much because it is what it is. It's nothing bad. It's nothing good. It just is what it is. School's been out. So when school's out, it is what it is. It's nothing, it's nothing bad. It's nothing good. It, it just is what it is. Uh, copy paste. Um, are you thick skin? Yes, I am copy paste. I'm very thick skin. You have to be when you do YouTube. You have to be, you have to be very thick. You got to be very tough. You can't do it, be a YouTuber and be have really be like a big baby. It's just not going to work, especially if you're a live streamer. Um, but I don't like to be thick skinned. It's not my choice, but because of what's happened in the past, I had to become that way. Um, because sometimes people come in the chat, they try to say stuff to just try to piss me off. I know that. Uh, but I ask me a question like, for example, I'll give you a perfect example here. Right here, I got a comment that says, Kelly, you have answers about YouTube, but still super chat is zero. That was a comment trying to get under my skin. Um, that doesn't need to be said in the chat. Now, if I had real th thin skin, that, that would have bothered me. But the fact that I have such thick skin... It doesn't bother me um, because I I know how to, to make money when I want to and when I need to. I'm very good at that, and I've proven that here in recent times on YouTube. I always do what I have to do when I have to do it. Um, and one thing I do on YouTube, when, when the time is necessary and when the conditions come to it, I do know how to manifest on my YouTube channel. I know how to to get things going. I, I do know how to do that. Um, but when I do it, I want to do it in a positive way where it doesn't spread negativity through the community. Um, I just want to say this on my stream. One thing I don't promote is sex tourism. I know a lot of people on YouTube have been saying that to me that I've been promoting that. No, I do not promote that because I'm a married man. But I, I respect that someone has a, a channel of the singles man side of the game because that person helped me with my YouTube channel. But I do not condone sex tourism. I'm, I'm not going to do that. Um, it's just not what my channel is about. So I want to say that. I know some people think, oh, Kelly's a family man, but he's kind of getting on to the little senior side. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. And I don't, I don't, I, that's not what my YouTube channel is about. And, and the fact that that I've been sitting here for streaming for almost two hours and haven't gotten one super chat. Now that doesn't bother me. Then that's fine. Um, because um, that is the way it is. It doesn't make me mad. I don't get frustrated. I mean, it is what it is. <laughs> so, yeah. So I just, I'm, I'm just answering everybody's comments. Um, you know, um, okay. Kelly, you haven't made, um, well, Andy, that's okay. That, that doesn't bother me. I don't know why you think that bothers me. Um, you know, I mean, it is what it is. It doesn't affect me because when I need to get, when I need to eat, I'm going to eat Andy. Uh, trust me. I'm, I'm a, I'm a big guy. I'm a big, strong guy. So when a big, strong guy needs to eat, he's going to get his meal. <laughs> and I do know how to do that on social media, especially on YouTube. Okay, that, that's it. So I don't want to go into that. I don't want to turn this into a negative discussion. Let's keep it positive. Let's keep it positive. No negativity. Um, well, uh, here, this is a good comment. Okay, let me, let me read the cut. Um, Oh, 
okay, Andy, um, okay, well, you're right, Andy, that I agree with you on that, that, okay, you're right about that, I agree with you, I'm not going to sit here on stream, and I'm not going to lie, it, it is what it is, um, so you're right, okay, so I'm not going to lie about that, um, waffling, stick to what you know and build from there, okay, that's an intro, hold on, let, let me read the comments, guy, let me, let me read the comments, give me one second here, um, so thank you for thank you for uh, saying that. Um, um, <laughs> I sup the wicked ones. Okay, thank you. Um, copy paste. I appreciate that. <laughs> I sup the wicked ones. <laughs> thank you. I appreciate that. <laughs> okay, let me read the comments here. YouTube is like adultery, Kelly. Taking part is no more important than winning. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that, that's very true. <laughs> that That is very true. Okay, Kelly, you're getting caught up like so many other YouTubers. Don't get stuck like waffling. Stick to what you know and build from there. Um, well, Reggie R Rufford, one thing I'm not trying to do... Um, and, you know, in the past, I've had times where I've kind of made some of my viewers kind of mad and they just left. So I'm, I'm trying to shift where, you know, I, I said that thing where it, it is business. But I, I say that because there for a while I was starting to get attacked a lot. And when you're getting attacked for, for silliness, I just said that just to kind of show my act of defiance. Um I know some people like Marco Portnoy got his feelings hurt, um, but um, I, I didn't mean to do that. I mean, I you know, so. Um, now you still. <coughs> okay, thank you, Andy. I appreciate that. Okay, so now what's number five? Okay, now this is a good one. Number five. The fifth thing... The fifth way to promote your YouTube channel. Now, th this one's gonna be this one's gonna be very complicated, and some of you guys may not quite. Uh, yeah, Ryan Clark is right. Portnoy is thin skin because what he did, he goes into other streams and he was talking bad about me, and I caught him. So when he came into my chat, I timed him out and I blocked him, and then I unblocked him. So he knows the truth, and that's why he's not in here in the stream. Now, if he came in here right now, I would say, hey, Michael Portnoy, how are you? I don't stay mad at anybody on YouTube. That's the one thing about me. I don't stay pissed off at people. It's just YouTube, so why am I going to just stay mad at somebody for something that someone said? I, I'm also smart enough to know that people are not perfect. Okay, so now on to the fifth thing. I, I, I got to stay on topic here, okay, because I, I tend to drift off a little bit. Block, well, yes, he got blocked for foolishness. He was in another stream. He was making fun of me, and I caught him. Not in one stream, but in multiple streams. I was right in the chat. I was seeing it. I had some people that told me about it, and then I verified it, and that's why I did what I did. But once I timed him out, I blocked him, and then I unblocked him because, of course, I don't want to block my viewers. So, Michael Portnoy, you're probably in here watching right now hearing me say this. You did that to yourself. But the difference is between me and you, Michael Portnoy, I'm, I'm very, I have very thick skin. I've learned how to be very strong on YouTube. And a lot of my strength came from is, is, uh, was, was, um, when I had my, my whole thing before I kind of, kind of got made a little bit. So I'll just say it like this. And this is actually true. Um, Nitro kind of was the one that toughened me up on YouTube. I mean, let's just be honest here. He actually, he did. So, um, so that was a good thing. <laughs> okay, so now the fifth thing of how to, to get it done on YouTube and to promote your YouTube channel. Um, this is a hard one because I've struggled with this. And it's not easy, but the fifth thing to promote your YouTube channel is loyalty loyalty to the people that are actually trying to really 
help you on YouTube. Having, being loyal to the people that are actually your real friend and trying to help you with your YouTube channel. That That's a tough one. That one is very hard because sometimes people will try to help you with your YouTube channel, but sometimes the help that you're getting is not the right kind of help for your YouTube channel. And that's a tough one. Now, as you guys hear me saying that, you're like, well, you're not always loyal. So there it is. Loyalty. Loyalty to the people that are your circle of group of friends is what you want to have. You you like, you know, like one hand washes the other, and then you have your circle of friends that are <coughs> that are always there with you through thick and thin. I mean, sometimes if you have an argument for somebody, it doesn't always mean that they're trying to beat you up. They're, sometimes they're just trying to tell you for your own good. So, and that was something that I struggled with a while back was, um, was, there was this, that concept, you know, somebody's trying to tell you the truth. And then if you're too defensive and you're not willing to listen, then, and then what happens is you can lose everything on YouTube. That's the last one and probably the most powerful one. And that's not easy because sometimes when people attack you, you think sometimes your friend will start yelling at you, but sometimes he's yelling at you because it's for your, <laughs> your own good. <laughs> so sometimes you, this is the part where you have to have really thick skin. You know, that, that, that right there, that, that last one. And that's not easy. That's not easy for anybody. And if you're vulnerable and you're susceptible, you know, then it's even worse. So then as you get thicker skin and as you learn how to, to, to understand the truth and why, then you can apply that. But it has gotten a lot easier in the last year because YouTube has made it a lot better for us creators. The first thing they did is they monetized the shorts. The second thing they started doing, they started adding more ads to the live stream. So those two things have been greatly improved. And then also the research bar. That's been another thing that was added. And, and there's been some differences, so it's made it easier. So now it's a lot easier to be more loyal to your real circle of loyal supporters. Now a year ago that that was a di that was a different story it was was harder but YouTube is as time goes on they're getting better and better about everything and I think eventually YouTube one day will be a really nice really good place to really do well with all the stuff that's been coming in here lately so shout out to YouTube they're they're getting better and better and better it's just um <clears throat> and just and just do what you like to do and then just and just be loyal to to your actual real real supporters, and then you'll you, you'll get there. You'll get there. Okay. All right. So um, hold on. Let me read the comments. Best thing of people insult. Okay. Let me see here. Uh, Sherry, how are you today? We got Sherry in the chat. What's going on with you, Sherry? Sorry, I was a little slow to acknowledge you there. I was talking about the fifth thing on YouTube, about to, uh, <clears throat> about to. Um... Okay, everybody, connect to Sherry's YouTube channel. So, Foxy Friends made a comment. The best thing is when people insult everyone who sees it is immediately can identify them as a D I C K, then spotlight and intend that everyone takes away from their comment uh, comment. Um, yeah, the insulting thing, Foxy Friends, is not a really good thing. But again, that happens because that comes into the category of of the act of defiance. That I see people doing that, and I understand why they do that. See, for me, I know all of my viewers, and I understand all of my supporters, why they do what they do and say what they say. A while back, I was in, I was in a Barry stream, and then I saw people saying this and that. And I understand why everybody 
what some people were saying were saying. And I, I didn't get mad. I was like, oh, I understand. I'm smart enough to understand why they did that. So I just let it go. So I didn't even get upset. I said, oh, that's okay. I understand. I'm older. The beauty is when you actually get older, you understand more things better. So that that was so so that didn't that I wasn't affected by that in a negative way. Some people, truth being told, they spent a lot of time on YouTube. And when you're on YouTube for quite a long time, after a while you start to expect, like, well, I have to get it done. It's been X amount of years. So when it's X amount of years and you're not getting it done, then of course you kind of um just, I'll just say it to you like this, guys. Just imagine you're in the woods and you're hungry and you have nothing to eat. You can't find no food. So what are you going to do? You do what you do so you don't die, right? You figure out a way so you eat something so you don't pass away. Well, it's the same thing on YouTube. Sometimes people went on YouTube for a very, very, very long time. And then they, they, they resort to different strategies to about... um getting somewhere in my mind it's all about if you don't have enough food to eat you got to figure out a way to get your next meal it's like a survival thing so sometimes people they they kind of they cross over each other um and then it's it's just like you're playing a basketball game and whoever's going to win the game's going to win it's the same thing on youtube when people are on youtube and they're wanting to be great they want to get it done, they want to go to the top, they want to be a big boss on YouTube. That's what it boils down to, and I'm, I'm smart enough to know that. So when people do the stuff they do, I, I don't get mad and I don't take it personally. For all the monetized channels, I, I get it. I understand it. It all makes sense to me. So so that that's the fifth thing about how you, how you get it done on YouTube. <laughs> Um, and then also along with the fifth thing, just, just, yes. And someone made a comment earlier that you just have to be, just be yourself. Don't try to be someone else. That's a very bad thing when you try to be someone else on YouTube. And when you're just be yourself, it's a lot easier when you try to pretend to be someone else that, that, that really sucks. It's not a good thing. It's actually a very bad thing. Because they see it and they just, it just, you know. <clears throat> so that's it. Those are the five things. Does anybody have any questions? Okay, okay, okay. Let me, let me read something. So, so 10, so your 10 plan is surviving. Well, of course, copy paste. Every day is a different day. Every day when I come on this live stream is different every time. I mean, today is June 7th of 2023. So, in the end, we all have to survive. I mean, we of course, we all want to thrive on YouTube. But the reality is, every day is a different day. And people that come in the chat are having a different day, too. Some Sometimes people come in the stream. Yeah, yeah yes, yes, I have, Sherry. Yes, I have. Have you accepted that we're your people? Yeah, yes, I have. Um, I'm drinking coffee. Reginald, Reginald, Ruth, Ruthard, confident, yeah, confidence. So yeah, and another thing is too. Part of the part of the fifth thing is you have to accept who who your people are. Um, a while back, I I was having a little bit of a issue with that. Um, because there was things that I didn't know and I didn't understand. So over time, I had to thicken my skin up a little bit, and I had to I had to realize like, okay. When you have your audience, then you have to to accept your audience for who they are and what they are. Um, so everybody's human. Everybody has a different different mindset every day. Everything is changing. Um, you know, like right now we're having all this uh, <clears throat> weather with the, this uh, air pollution, which is not good here in the U.S., but it is what it is. <laughs> and... Um, <clears throat> Oh, Metrosonic's back. Okay, let me drop your link again. And you just have to, just, yeah, just just accept everything for, for what it is. And if somebody's trying to tell you something and you, and you don't 
think it's right, you still should try to listen to them and don't try to uh, shut them out and don't try to silence them. Um, and one big thing is, too, is don't run away from certain things on YouTube because when you start running away, that just makes you more susceptible to trolling. If you try to run away from certain things and people know you're trying to run away, that's when the trolls come in and they start trying to... Um, they start trying to get you. And so, some people on YouTube, I, I don't know if they quite get that. There's a reason why so many trolls will come in the chat and do what they do because at the end of the day, they, they, they just want the truth. And when they're not getting the truth, then the trolling starts to be, it becomes amplified. And then when it gets amplified, amplified, you do have to face it eventually. You can't just run away from ever. It's, you're not going to win that battle. Because remember, you're only one person. So if you have 20 people trying to hunt you down, you might as well just turn around and just turn around and just face them all straight on and be like, okay, I'm here. What are we going to do about it? You can't run away from certain things on YouTube. And that's where it goes into to, to the, to the loyalty factor. And I've seen people on YouTube where they have 20, 25 people, 30 people that are chasing, they're trying to, they're trying to chase them down. You, you can't run forever. Eventually, you got to turn like, okay, you know what, Let, let's work this out. So, you know, you just can't do that. that that's the, the thing that you just can't get away from. And a lot of people know that's true. <laughs> with me and my little snarky laugh. Um, <clears throat> okay, uh, okay, okay, let's see here. Uh, all right, Flava. Okay, sorry about that. Um, yeah, if I miss some of your questions, okay. Um, Flava, Flavo Van Nesta says, asked me a question. Kelly, why does Barry avoid the question in then bans people when they ask if he got banned from Thailand. Flava, I don't know, but that is wrong. If if that actually is true, why can't you just get on YouTube and say why? Just just tell the truth, because truth being told, people can actually find that information out. So, if that actually is that way for me personally, I would not run away from that. I just get on YouTube and be like, well, this is what happened. This is what I did. Just just tell the truth. And the trolls will be like, okay, well, he told the truth. So then it's not fun anymore. I don't know. I don't know what's so hard about just coming clean about everything. Um, yeah, I mean, because, you know, people can always find out stuff. Um, I, I don't know about that Flavo Vanesta, but for me, if I was in that position, why am I going to ban somebody and block them because they asked me that question? That's just a valid question. Um, so, but, but in the end, you can't run away from that forever. You, you just can't. You, you ha eventually you have to, you have to face that. I mean, you know. If you, I'll just say this. If you don't want to face it, then maybe it's time to stop doing YouTube. That's a very hard thing that I said. Um, but for me, if I can't just... If I'm running away for something and people are trying to hunt me down eventually, I'd be like, well, maybe I'm just going to quit YouTube and that's it. I mean, but if you want to keep doing YouTube, I think you should make a stream and just, just tell the truth about everything. People might not be able to digest it, but eventually people will start to respect you a little more. Um. Okay, so yeah, um, what's my weight? Um, I weigh about 200 and, um, hold on a second, I'm 5'11", and I weigh about 250-ish. Two, I kind of went up, and then I kind of started to go back down a little bit, so I'm right about 250, which is, which is too much, but I'm fine with it. Um, it's better than it was last year. Last year it was like almost, could have been about 260. So, um, uh, thank you. I appreciate that. Well, cause I'm wearing black too. When I wear black, it makes you look smaller. Um, so yeah, but a lot of that is, a lot of that is 
some of that's muscle because I, I lift stuff and then I walk a lot and then I, um, I might be that big, but I can actually usually walk five miles and um, do what I need to do. I can pick up stuff. I can carry stuff. Um, but I would like to eventually, if it's possible, maybe lose something, but it's okay. You know, it is what it is. You know, as you get older, things change. I accept that. I'm not, um, you know, I like my pizza sometimes. <laughs> it's just as long as I wake up and I feel good, that's what I care about most. That's that's the main thing. So uh, thank you for saying that copy paste. I appreciate that. Okay, six twenty. Um. So yeah. Um. <clears throat> Let me see if there's any more questions here. Yeah, so, um, excuse me. I've actually had a lot of coffee today. Mm, excuse me. Sorry about that, guys. You know, sometimes you drink coffee, it kind of gives you a little bit of um, stomach gas. Um, because sometimes when I do these live streams, I have to have coffee so I'm more mentally stimulated for the stream. Usually I just drink water. But today I was like, I actually need some coffee. I actually need some black coffee. So um, so we can do a really good stream today and then we can we can um get some stuff fixed to get it worked out. So as time when we go on YouTube, then um then it'll be better for all of us. That's that's what I want to see, actually. I want to see all of us do uh, do better on YouTube. I really do. I want to see that. I'd like to see some um Oh, you like the five Melinda? <laughs> you have loyal people you just didn't want. Well, Sherry, it's not that I didn't want you guys. It wasn't like that. I think a lot of my issue was, Sherry, I'll just tell you the truth. You want me to tell you the truth, Sherry? I'm going to be honest with you. I wasn't very happy when I went to the Philippines. I didn't want to go there. I kind of got talked into going. When I went there, I started to feel bad because I knew I was going to have trouble with my YouTube channel. And I was very just mad about going, Sherry. I didn't really want to go at that time. But my wife kept asking me, hun, can you go? Can you go? Can you go? And I knew in my heart, Sherry, that when I went to the Philippines, my YouTube channel was going to go. I already knew Sherry before I left. So that's truthfully, that's why I acted the way I did. Um, and I didn't really want to go because I kind of had a feeling what was going to happen. And then it did. And then on top of that, I got sick. So that's the truth, Sherry. I've, I've never said that in my live stream. But I, at that time, I was not one to go to the Philippines. But truth being told, last October, I did want to go to Manila in the Philippines to do YouTube there. But, and the reason why, if I could have went last October, then I would have really got something done with YouTube. But I knew I was going to the wrong place to do YouTube. So I was just, I was just frustrated about it. And then, I, and then, I, and then I got frustrated and then I made myself sick, Sherry. That, that actually is the truth. I've never said that in my stream, but that, that's the God honest truth. It's no, it's nothing against, you know, my my wife or anything. It's not like that. It's just I I knew what was gonna happen. Because I I, I kind of see things and I kind of know the truth. I do have I do kind of have somewhat of premonitions, but I never said that in the stream before. But if you think back, Cherry, you know during that time, I was very upset and I was very sick. Because I knew I was in the wrong place for YouTube. I knew that everything was going to go in the toilet. And then sure it did. <laughs> so that was the truth. Um, you know. I never said that until now. And you and you know that I was, I was very sick. And I, I did say that Kings RC. I just said that because it was an act of defiance. And I thought if I just said that. I thought that was my one last fighting chance to get it done. So, and I knew that I was not going to get it done. I already knew that. But just out of an act of defiance, I went ahead and said it anyhow. 
because I didn't want to just beat myself down and be like, and just sit here and sit on a live stream. Well, I'm going to go to the Philippines. It's going to be horrible. Because, of course, you don't want to do that to yourself. But I knew in my heart it, it was going to be, wasn't going to work. And then it happened the way it happened. Um, you know, even though I had people told me that they were going to help me, but in the end, I knew that wasn't true. I knew that. I knew that. I knew that in my heart because I could feel it. But I never said that on my live stream on my YouTube channel. So before I left, that's why I did what I did, and that's why I said what I said, because I was just mad. Because I, 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 I did something that I didn't want to do, and I was only doing that to make my wife happy. I wasn't doing that for myself. Yes, I needed to get my teeth done, but I could have had that done here. So that's the truth. <laughs> that's the truth. <laughs> So the next time that I, that I ever do leave the country, I will make sure 100% that I am fully in position on YouTube. That is a guaranteed promise to you guys and myself. So the next time that I leave, I'll never do that to myself again. Because basically what I was doing is I was on a mission to self-destruct. Um, you know, that's the truth. That's the truth. Um, you know... I know you guys are going to think this is crazy, but last October, I was wanting to go to the Philippines with uh, with Panay and the Angels, and then we could have really got it done on YouTube, but it didn't happen that way. I didn't win $10,000 in the lottery, so I, I didn't get that opportunity. So, and I was really bummed out about that, because if I could have went with Panay to the Philippines, oh yes, I would have got it done on YouTube. There's no question, there's no doubt. So I was, I was, I was... Because in my mind, when I did YouTube, I want to go with the right people so we could get it done. Or I could get it done. Because, of course, you have people around there trying to support you. They're trying to help you with your YouTube channel. So that, that, that was what it was. And then the worst part about it is I lost all my VIPs. So anyway, that's the way it works. So Because I did something I didn't want to do. That's truth. That is the very truth. And that's the first time that I've actually admitted this on this live stream. I never said that before in my live stream. So I missed a very big opportunity last October. So and it, it made me sick. <laughs> so, I, I, um, you know, so. <clears throat> yeah, it is crazy, Kings RC. It is. Um, yeah. So, um, yeah. But that's the truth. Um, copy, paste. I don't have any tattoos. I don't have any. I don't have any. Um. I'm actually being serious when I say that, Kings RC, because if I would have went there, all those people were doing YouTube, all of them. So I would have had the energy. I would have had some help with editing. I would have had people be in my streams. Oh, if I if I could have done that last October, um, Kings RC, I would have. I don't mean to say it like this, but mark my words, I would have reigned supreme on YouTube. There's no question. There's no doubt. I would have because the energy was in place at that time. And the fact that I did not win that ten thousand dollars in the lottery basically it just it basically killed me. I was this close from winning the lottery of ten thousand dollars, and I missed it. So that anyway, that's what happened. So. <laughs> it's not actually not funny, but that's the truth. That is that is the truth. <laughs> you know, so that's okay. Um, you know. And, and I, I'm and another thing that's not good. That I'm saying this in the stream. You know, I actually told my wife this, so my wife knows that. So it, she's not gonna be mad. So you know, <clears throat> so <laughs> because when you have all these people around you that are gonna help you with your YouTube channel, you you're gonna get it done because the energy would have been in place there. So when you do YouTube and you go with certain people, you need to have. Well, let's just say this. For example, okay, let's put it this way. Let me shift a little bit of a topic. Let me let me say something like this. For example, like for example, for just for example, like for example, if like me, Nitro, and Keith went somewhere and we did something with YouTube, we would all do better on our channels because we were all three together. So let's just say that. Let's put it that way. So you guys don't think I'm being like kind of like a little off. I mean, you know, when you go somewhere. You, you want to go with, like, your fellow YouTubers. You know, you need the people that are into the YouTube thing. 
Or, you know, like that. So let me say it like that so I'm not throwing you guys off in the chat. Um, <clears throat> okay. Uh, okay, now it's 6.31. So, so I'll say it like that because, you know, of course the way I'm saying you guys in the chat thinking, oh, you just want to cheat on your wife. No, 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 no. I would never do that. But my intention was when I left the country, is like, do it for YouTube. And that didn't happen, so that's it. Instead, when I went to the Philippines, I got very sick. A lot of bad things happened. Um, a lot of negativity things happened. Um, and it was it was what it was. I'm not mad at anybody, no hard feelings. But um, I felt very bad about how the way it was on YouTube. So anyway, it's done. It's over with. It's finished. But the next time that I ever leave the country, I will make sure that that it'll be right for me on my YouTube channel. So lesson learned. <laughs> and, and, and the truth is, it's nobody's fault. It's nobody's fault but my own. Because I was asked if you wanted to take a trip. And then some people said, you really should go with your wife. And I said, okay, I'll do it. But, but I, I didn't want to go with my wife because I, I wanted to, to do for some more YouTube. I know that's kind of a, a strange thing that I'm saying, but I, I, I admitted that. So, um, you know. So I missed a big opportunity last October because last October, I think if I'd have been in the Philippines when I wanted to go, I probably could have groomed my channel to one or 200,000 subscribers and I could have really got it done because last year there was some energy in place for YouTube that could have really, really could have pulled me up to really get it done. Um, if I would have got to, if I would have went last October, I probably would already, probably already have my silver play button. Um, so anyway, it's okay. It's okay. No problem. No big deal. You know, life goes on. Um, <laughs> because when you're in the right place at the right time, that's when you boom, 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 boom. That's when you finish it. That's when you really get it done. You know, you get what done what you're supposed to get done. You know, you blow up your channel. You're in the right place at the right time with the right people. And then you get it done. And then I could have been on my way to a multimillionaire on YouTube. So I know some of you guys are probably laughing in the chat, but that's a fact, and I know that's true. So anyway, it's okay. There's there'll be a there'll be another opportunity for for me to do that. <clears throat> so anyway, it's okay. Um. Yep. Yeah. Because uh, last year uh, there was a lot of energy that was in place for that, and trust me, I'm a very clairvoyant and clairsentient kind of guy. Um, but I still ask myself why I didn't win that $10,000 in the lottery. That, that's one thing that I don't really understand. Um, so anyway, it's, I don't want to keep talking about it. It's done, but that I was supposed to win $10,000 and I missed that. <clears throat> so, um, no, no Kings RC. I, I, Really, when I left the country, if I'd have been in the right place at the right time with the right people, oh, I would have got it done because I would have had the help that I needed. And I would have had a little bit of money to to organically promote it. And then I missed that opportunity. But now it's different. Now <clears throat> you can promote your YouTube channel through YouTube. Last year you could not. So now, I don't gamble anymore, but let's just say I won $10,000. Now now I would know what to do. I could take a $500 retainer and I could just promote my streams right through YouTube. I mean, now, let's say I took $2 and I went up and I played $10,000 and I won. I'd give my wife half, because you're supposed to do it when you're married. The other half, I would keep for myself. I would take $600 retainer and I would promote my YouTube channel through YouTube. That That's actually what I would do. And then I, I would do it that way. Um, cause my son's done that on his videos and it's, and it has been, it really worked for him. And then also I would have money for an editor cause I don't, I'm not very good at editing, but I could just pay someone a little bit of money. And they could edit my, I would just promote the heck out of my live streams. That's, that's what I'd be promoting. Um, because I like to do lives. So, 
you know that that's how I would do it. Um, so anyway, but I, I don't gamble anymore. I don't. I can't even afford to gamble. My my gambling time is done. Um, so um, so what it boils down to, Kings RC. I have to start. Regional Rutherford, I was supposed to win the lottery last October, and I missed it. I missed it by one digit, but I don't want to keep talking about what's passed, but I missed a very big opportunity, and I could have really, really got it done last year. It did break my heart, but I'll get over it. It's okay. So Kings RC, what it boils down to, what you're saying there, I didn't use the law of attraction in the right way. I was just a little bit off point. If I'd have been on point... I got the $10,000. I went to the Philippines with the people that were all around me that were doing YouTube. And then we would have really got it done. So, yeah. Um, VJ Games, you asked me a question. Um, Okay, VJ Games. I'm sorry about that. <sighs> VJ Games. Okay, Kelly, I have a question for you. I've heard if someone has a Nike shirt on is promoting a company or you're not promoting the company is a f the, ooh no i'm not promoting nike um vj games i'm just wearing a nike shirt for the stream but i'm not i'm not promoting their product i haven't said anything about nike i've talked about this this stream has been about five ways to promote your youtube channel um okay one second here uh whoops um, so, yeah, that's a very interesting question, VJ Games. Um, um, uh, yes, um, yes, v yes, Reginald Rutherford, it's right. It was a lottery. I played and I lost. I lost $2 and, um, that was it. You're absolutely right. I didn't judge exactly right and i missed it so it wasn't meant to be so you're absolutely right about that question you or that comment that you said that's very true i don't yeah so yeah i need to get i need to stop talking about it it's in the past I have, so after that i'm never going to talk about this again so sorry if some of you guys don't um i i'm not promoting nike on um, berries fried chicken does nike pay you well i'm not i'm not being promoted by nike i wish i was <laughs> <laughs> it would be nice. Give me a little brand deal. Um, in the right time and place, um, Barry's Fried Chicken, I'll get my brand deal through YouTube. It'll happen. It'll come. Um, but it'll just come out of nowhere. A lot of things are just going to happen. Um, but it has to be in the right time and the right place with the right type of people. So, yeah, that 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 will will happen. Because I do know how to, about manifestation. All that stuff I talk about, I know all of it and I get all of it. And I understand it and I know how to apply it. I I just try not to talk about where I'm bragging about it. Because sometimes things get interpreted that I'm bragging. And I do not like to get on a live stream and appear like I'm bragging. Or being arrogant or showing off or, you know. Um, so I did a lot of that last year too. It, you know, so... I have really have tried to change for the better from last year because last year I was last year I was not doing it right. I was not getting it done last year. Last year was uh was very bad actually. And I didn't get it done. So everything was just was just BS last year. Everything I did. And it was wrong what I did too, and I already we already talked about that. Um, Kelly, do you have any ideas around about branding yourself? Um, yeah, actually I do, Reginald. I actually, I do. But, um, do you, um, yes, I do. But in order for me to get a brand deal, I do need to get more views on my videos. Real organic views. But the way to do that, Reginald Rutherford, truth being told is that I have to take some money and promote through YouTube. So all of my live streams, this this is what I'm going to do, Reginald. I'll just tell you the flat-out truth what I need to do to get a brand deal. I'll just tell you. So if you guys can do this, do it. Okay, this is what you do. This will help you guys if you're trying to get a brand deal. What you need to do is take $500 to $1,000, and you need to promote your YouTube channel through YouTube. 
your views will go way up, your subscribers will go up, and then you have a very high probability of getting a brand deal. But at the same time, you have to have a content to talk about it. So that's how you do it. So for example, like if I went and played the lottery, I got $10,000, I give my wife half. The other half, I take 1000 bucks. I promote my YouTube channel through YouTube, and then you get the views, subscribers, everything goes up as you're doing your lives. And then when they see that you're getting the views, I'm like, oh, okay, I like this guy. I'll him hook him up with a brand deal. And that's how you do it. It's very simple now. It's a lot easier now. But the thing is you have to invest the money to do that. Now, last year, it wasn't like that. Now it is. But this is still a risk. Cow Cowboy Moose, how are you today? Um, so, yeah. So, and, and, you know, and I'll say this, you know, you can do that, but that may not work. That may not work. You, I mean, I could do that. Let's say a year, let's say I did that. There's no guarantees that that would work too. That's a risk. That's a very high risk investment. But your views would go way up. Um, but, you know, it is what it is. <laughs> okay, you know what? I need to stand up here. I got something I got to work on. Okay, guys, give me one second. Shoot, it's already 6.42. Give me one second, guys. And now give me one second here. I, I got to work on something, <clears throat> but I'll still be here. <clears throat> All right, so um, I'm still here. Just give me a second. I got to stick something in the oven. All right, so I don't mean to be a little off the chat here. So the topic was five ways to grow your YouTube channel. So that's one way to, to do that. Do -do 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 -do. Around that time of the day, <clears throat> I need to put something in the oven. It's already six forty-five. All right. Okay. Okay, there we go. Okay, so now we're now we're standing up. Okay, I just had to put something in the oven real quick. I don't want to forget. <clears throat> so hopefully you're all gonna join Keith's live stream when he goes live at 750. Alright, so now we're standing up. Alright, I just had to put that in the oven real quick. Oh, how you doing, Kyle? We got Kyle in the chat. What's going on with you, Kyle? The YouTube chat's kind of gotten a little jumbled up there. What's going on with you, Kyle? How are you today? Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. I'm going to drop you a link, Kyle. How are you doing, Kyle? Shout out to you, Kyle. Crypner Vlogs. So how are you doing on your YouTube channel, Kyle? I haven't seen you for quite a long time. How have you been, Kyle Kripner Vlogs? Come here. Okay, 6.45 in the evening. Okay, here we go. Uh, Ruth... Ruth um, Oh, one second. I missed your comment there. R wrangled, Ruther, Kelly, it's not always about money. Try to come up with an idea. Take a look how to how to top YouTubers do it. Uh, yes, that is true, Reginald Ruther. You're absolutely right when you say that. that. That is true. You're absolutely right. It is. Um, so I like that comment. I like that comment, uh, Rangan Ruther. Um, but the way I'm talking, Reg and Ruther, the way I talk, I'm talking like you're going for your gold play button. So I just want to tell you that. Now, if you just want to stay at a channel and then you want to do like that, but in my mind, my, my plan eventually is, uh, Reginald is to get my gold play button. Um, eventually that, that's kind of like my goal. Now, I don't know exactly how long that's going to take. That could maybe take five, maybe six years. 
But that is kind of my plan, my goal. It's where I'm trying to get to be. So in order for me to do that, you got to have the editing. You got to have the right people around you. But that is kind of like my goal, my plan. So the only way I'm going to do that is by... How are you, Rosie Wren? How are you today? So eventually that that is something that I, I'm aiming for. But um, that's going to take a long time, I'll be honest. That's not that's going to take a while. And honestly, honestly speaking, here in the last probably three or four months, my channel hasn't grown one bit. And I know that. Um, so that is what it is. <laughs> it doesn't make me upset. That's just a fact. It's, it is what it is. I'm not angry about it. I'm not upset. It's just nature. I know what I need to do to get the gold play button on YouTube. So once certain elements are in place, then I'll manifest it. But I, I'll be honest with you guys, I really do need a good editor. And I'm not going to have an edit editor for free. Nobody's going to edit all my stuff for me for free. That's not something you ever should do to an editor. You need an editor, and then you need someone to promote your YouTube channel. So between the editing and then the, you know, you, you know how it goes. I mean, a lot of people know how it really works behind the scenes. So, yeah. Uh, yes, Reginald Roth, yes, Mr. Beast, and that's what I'm streaming on right now. I'm streaming on my mobile phone. Yeah, yeah, that's true. That's what I'm streaming on right now. I'm on my iPhone 13 Pro Max. And then I have my iPhone XS Max to read the chat. <laughs> Mr. Beast, I think, started with, a, what was it, an iPhone 7, iPhone 8? And then he just went from there. But he made videos and he edited it, um, but I'm not exactly sure what he did. Um, but, you know, right now, if you have the right things in place... You can get the gold play button. Um, so, I got a long ways to go for that. So, that's why you need editing. You need uh, need certain equipment. And you have to have really good content. Well, look at vidIQ. Look at what he did. He came out with the equipment. He has the content. And they... He now they have their gold play button, but now I'll, I'll tell you guys this is the truth about this. Don't think for one second that VidIQ did not promote their YouTube channel. They did. They knew what marketing strategy to use. Maybe they went on Facebook, they found all these groups, and then they just kept amplifying, amplifying the group. <clears throat> so yeah. So yeah. So I I I know what it takes. I know what it boils down to. Yeah. So if the gold play button, then what? Then that's when you really start getting it done, um, Kings RC. That's when you start seeing some really good revenue on your YouTube channel. Then eventually you keep going to, you know, one, two million subscribers and then be like Scotty Kilmer. Have seven, eight million subscribers on your YouTube channel and you're making a lot of money. You get brand deals, you get sponsorships, and you just keep uploading. You keep uploading. You have a great community of people. And you just... Live the, the good lifestyle and just do YouTube. But that is my goal. But I know that's a very long goal, but I believe I can get there. I mean, I know right now I'm sitting here streaming. You guys see these kitchen cabinets. I, I know that's not right. I know that. But the reality is I don't have anywhere else to live stream. I have this very small place that I live. So, <laughs> yeah. But, um, you know, I, I can do this, too. I can hold on one second here. So let's turn this around here. So, yeah, so I know some people are probably tired of that little background. So, okay, let's put it like this. So, anyway, this is a little better. Ungame Miller, how are you today? So, yeah, so I'll turn that around because I know that people get tired of seeing that fridge. I know that's not a very nice background. But, anyway, that, that's the way it is. So, yeah. Ungame Miller, how are you today? So, we got to change the background there a little bit. <laughs> All right. Uh, 
Are you doing YouTube now? Uh, well, right now I'm. Um, okay, hold on. Let me read the comments here. King Rudrum Kelly took a look at the guy called Thailand Bound. It's a very always easy going chat, but it keeps moving. Uh, okay, um, a guy called Thailand Bound. Okay, let me type that in there. Thailand Bound. Oh, he's almost got 50,000 subscribers. Okay, I'll subscribe to that channel. Whoa. Okay. Wow. Okay, I'll subscribe to that channel, Regin and Ruth. I'll, I'll, I'll watch that stream. Thank you for telling me that. I appreciate that. So I subscribe to the channel. Ungame Miller, I just dropped your link. Kings RC, yes, I'm doing YouTube now. I'm doing a live stream, um, but I'm just kind of—I I just kind of kept the stream going because I don't got nothing else to do. I got the f food in the oven cooking, and then I'm just waiting for Keith to go live. So I'm going to hang out in Keith's chat tonight. Um, but I, I think we had a good stream today. I think we had a pretty good stream today. So how are you doing on your YouTube channel, um, Kings RC? How, how are you doing on your channel? How, how have you been? Okay, you made a video. You made a video um, 20, 22 hours ago. Here we go again. Nice weekend. Eight scale nitro. Okay, you got some views on there. And then you did a video three weeks ago. Okay. Looks like your channel's been growing, um, Kings RC. That's grown more than um, what it was before. That's very good. So, um, what about you guys in the chat? Or what are your goals on YouTube? Are you guys aiming for the silver play button or the gold play button? Just out of curiosity. Oh, okay. Thailand Bound does a live every Saturday plus vlogs to the week and also... Oh. Okay. Thailand Bound does a live every Saturday plus vlogs to the week. Also a member stream after the live. Oh, okay. Okay, Reginald Ruther. Thank you for telling me that. I appreciate that. I'll watch that. I'll watch that. Um, I'll, I'll watch that. Um, that that is a that is a really big channel. Let me go back to that because I just subscribed to that Thailand bound. Hmm. Looks like a nice channel. Wow! Did a video twenty eight hundred views investing in Thailand and update about ba wow, five true viewer stories from Bangkok to wow. Now that is some really good views, uh, Reginald. Wow, and it looks like a. Uh, wow, that does look like a good channel. I'll, I'll watch that. That's on Saturday. Hmm. In their last live stream, 4,000 views. Thailand Bound is live Saturday, 3rd June. Whoa. Thailand Bound is live Saturday, 27th of May. 5,000. Whoa, they do get a lot of views. That is a lot of views. Wow. Okay. And those are actually very good thumbnails, too. Okay. Okay. Yeah. All right. So their YouTube channel has over 11 million views. And they're from the United Kingdom. So I think this is a woman's channel, isn't it, Ruth R Reginald? I, I think the person that runs this channel, I believe, is, is probably a... I mean, it doesn't matter, but... Whatever they're doing, it looks like a very good YouTube channel. I believe that's probably a woman's YouTube channel. So, yeah, so that's a very good-looking channel. I'm impressed with what I'm seeing. 48,700 48, subscribers, 533 video. Okay, that's very impressive. That's very impressive. Oh, he's a good guy with good info. Oh, okay, okay. Okay. 
No, Peter runs runs it. Oh, okay, okay, Peter. Okay, I, I have to. I have to watch that. I have to watch that Reginald. I'll have to watch one of the streams. I'll have to see how they do it. Um, but yes, it look like it's very very good views, very good thumbnails. So I appreciate you telling me that. I subscribe to the channel, so I'll watch that. Because of course, when I do these streams, I almost have a feeling that eventually. I don't know what it is, but I almost feel like there's a chance that that I could end up going to Thailand or something to do YouTube. I don't know why I'm having this feeling, but it's starting to, It's I've been having dreams about it that I could end up, I don't know, maybe I'm just being out there a bit. Um, because, you know, when, 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 Barry the Boss did what he did for me on my YouTube channel. It did have a tremendous effect. I mean, his whole community came in my stream. All, everybody. I never had anybody do that, ever. He told his viewers, all of you go over to Kelly Caldwell's YouTube channel. And then everybody came over there. I was like, whoa. I was shocked. I was like, okay. So that, that really had an effect on me. Um, so, you know. And then it just, it was just, it was just, I was like, wow, that's, that's unbelievable. And I'll never forget that, um, Reginald Ruther. I'll never, I'll, I'll never forget when, when something like that happens. Uh, how you doing, L, L, A, uh, Sam Man, how are you today? So I, I don't forget when something like that happens. I mean, that day I had 110 come in my chat. I was like, wow, there's 110 people in this live stream. And I had the embedding feature actually turned off. So that was not a boosted live stream. So I was like, whoa. Um, that's okay, Barry's Fried Chicken. I'm just, I like to repeat myself sometimes. I, it's a happy thing. It makes me feel good to talk about it. It was a good thing that um, Boss did for me, and I'm appreciative of it. So I always appreciate what the Boss did, and I'll never forget that. So, um, you know, someday when the time is right, I'm going to help him with his YouTube channel. I don't forget what, what Boss did. I know a lot of people, maybe some people said, oh, you just use him. No, I didn't use him. And there'll come a time where I'll, I'll pay back Boss. And he'll be like, wow, you didn't use me. <laughs> Says, I, I know he maybe he felt like I used him. No, I didn't use him. Um, you know. There'll come a time I'll be probably put 300 people in boss's chat and he'll make $1,000 in super chats. That that eventually will happen because I'll tell him to do it. So then um, boss will get really excited in his life. Well, I just got $1,000 in cake. <laughs> get the boss in an uproar. That'd be kind of funny. I, I actually would. I would actually enjoy that. I I do, Melinda. Actually, I do, Melinda Elliott. I'm actually being serious. There's going to come a time when I get in position that I am going to do that for Boss. I'm going to get 300 in this chat, and he's going to get over a thousand dollars in super chats. Because when I get farther along where I want to be, I'm not going to forget what Boss did. I won't forget that. I will not forget that. I don't ever forget when somebody does something for me. Just like the day when Keith Jenkins came in my chat and he dropped a $500 super chat. I never forgot that. I always remember that. Some some YouTubers kind of forget things, but I, I don't. I always remember when someone does something really good. I don't ever forget. I always remember. That I think I think that's one of my good qualities as a YouTuber. When someone does something really good, I do not forget. <laughs> Just like you, Melinda Elliott. I remember the stuff you did too. I, I didn't forget that. <laughs> I always remember. <laughs> I think that's the sixth thing that I want to talk about how to get it done on YouTube. I, I said five things on the video, but I got one more thing. And also... The, the sixth thing, and I know this is going off topic, but the sixth thing is don't forget when someone does something very good for you. Because when you forget, that's when you can get thrown in the doghouse. <laughs> so.
So that does, it, that's the thing. Don't forget. Now, I had someone on YouTube a while back last year said, oh, just forget about it. You know, don't keep, you know, remembering. I'm like, why? Why would I not remember when someone did something really good for me? They just said, oh, it doesn't last. But no, that was wrong. That was, I'm not going to say the name, but someone actually told me that that was a very, very, very bad thing for YouTube. And honestly, that goes against loyalty, goes against loyalty of, of YouTube. So... I was taught that, and that was wrong. But I'm not gonna say the name, but um, you know. So, so yeah. So don't forget when someone does something. So that actually goes with the fifth thing I was talking about. Just don't forget when somebody does something good for you. So like that day when Boss did that, I'm not gonna forget that. 110 in the chat, and then I got what over 500 bucks in super chats. I was like, okay, yeah, it was. See, who would who would forget that? <laughs> so if I'm repeating it, it's okay. You know, and if it gives him clout, that's good. He deserves more clout. And he deserves more cake. So I'm saying something that's very positive and very good. <clears throat> All right. Uh, that's okay, Barry's Fried Chicken. It's okay for me to go in circles. That That's, that's okay. That's the way I am. That's the way I do things. Because you don't want to forget. You always want to remember. And then when you remember things, that's how you grow from it. And see, those type of things, buried fried chicken, those are the traits right there that actually will get me my gold play button on YouTube. You do not forget what people do for you. Some people, they do forget. I do not. Now, the bad stuff, yes, I forget about it. I don't, I don't remember it. But the good stuff, no, I'm not going to forget. <laughs> All right. Okay, now it's 7.03. All right. So what do you got going on today, um, Barry's Fried Chicken? You need to tell Boss to go live on YouTube. It's been several days. He needs to get back on YouTube again. I'm actually, I think we're all getting a little restless that he's not been doing his live stream. All right. So always remember the good things that people do for you. But now the bad things, yes, forget it. But don't forget the good things. All right. Okay. Oh, boy. All right. Oh, Lord. Okay, one second here. I need to, uh, one second. No, I was just, I was reading my messages. Oh, boy. All right. Uh, da, 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 da. So let's go. Let's grow. So does anybody in the chat have any questions or, um, actually, you know what? Um, 645. Oh, boy. Okay. Well, you know, let's turn this back around here. Let's, um, let's do this here. One second. Let's turn this back around here. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> All right, so now we're back on this side of the... Now we're back on this side of the kitchen. All right, hold on. I need to look at something. Shoot. I almost forgot about this fish. That's not done yet. I put that at 645. It's already been in for 20 minutes. One second, guys. All right, so now we're back. All right, so does anybody have any comments or questions in the chat? <laughs> so everybody connected the pin. Um, do, do you wish... Copy-paste, that's a very good question. I like that question. You want to be honest with you, um, copy-paste? 
I'll flat out tell you the truth. When I, when I was in high school, I actually wish I would have been when I was in high school. I don't know why, but um, when I was in high school, actually I did. But now I accept myself. I like myself for who I am and what I am. But when I was in high school, when I was a teenager, actually I, I, I did. I actually wished I was. I don't know why I just did, because all my friends were, and. <laughs> that that's um yeah that's the way it was in high school because I idolized Michael Jordan Mike Tyson I idolized them a lot and um you know so that that was a very good question um uh, copy paste <laughs> club filler is no longer live oh, how you doing street life Asia. Club filler is no longer like. Did he just get tired of YouTube? What's going on with him? Uh, Street Life Asia. Well, oh. Uh, okay. Um. Okay. Hmm. Well, anyway, I'm gonna um. Mm. Okay, you won uh, Street Life Asia. How did you win? That's good. You you won. I won. Kill okay, that's good. What did you win, Street Life Asia? That's good. I'm glad that you won. Congratulations. So did you... Uh, I, I'm just kind of reading the comments there. So congratulations on winning. It's always good when you win. <laughs> oh. Are you sure about that, Street Life Asia? Oh, okay. Um, um, okay. I, I, okay. If you want to say that, but just always remember the boss of YouTube can always make a comeback and everybody might be really shocked. So I, I wouldn't count your chickens before they're hatched. I, I I know Barry the boss. He's not just gonna. He's not gonna just give up like that. He's not a quitter. Nobody on YouTube is gonna say they're the boss and they're just gonna stop streaming. I I won't accept that. Maybe for today, maybe you you might have won, but but tomorrow's another day. So just remember that. Just um. Okay. Well, you never know. Things can always make a comeback when the conditions are right. Um, boss knows what he needs to do. He knows. So he just needs a little bit of time. Once he gets through his time, then he'll come back. I, I know he will. He's not just going to quit YouTube. And that That's not going to happen. He, I, I just don't see him as a quitter. I'm for me personally, if I was gonna say I was a boss on YouTube, oh, I'd never quit. I mean, he even has a cup that says "boss," so he's not gonna quit. You guys are just probably gonna be surprised what he's gonna do when he does come back. So just be very aware and careful. Um, you know, because when people are quiet, now you gotta remember one thing about boss guys. And I know this is very true. Boss is Jamaican. When you're Jamaican, you don't quit. It just doesn't happen. Especially when you do YouTube. I've known a lot of people from Jamaica. And all the YouTubers I know from there, they do not quit. So, Barry the Boss is not done yet. I'm 100% sure of that. He's not gonna just going to quit like that. He, you know, I just, I just know that. He, he doesn't talk to me, but I know. That that's not gonna happen. Um, yeah. 
yes, I do. Um, breakage, I do. I do know how to do it. Um, no, I'm not Michael Hauser. Yes, Barry is English, but his parents are Jamaican. Um, money over honeys. You don't know that, but I know that. He's in the UK, but his ancestry is Jamaican. He was born... His his ancestry is Jamaican. Money over honeys. Yes, he's English, but he has the Jamaican roots. And those type of people, they do not just quit. So, I just don't see that happening. So, um, just... just um, okay... I, I just, uh, Michael Hauser, no, I'm not live on Facebook. I, I should be, but I'm not. I'm just live on YouTube. Let, let me pin you up there, Michael Hauser. Okay. Uh, everybody, please thank the Michael Hauser's YouTube channel. So, um, I I just know when someone's not going to quit. I, I just, I, I just know that. Um. There's a thing that sometimes you might kind of go down a little bit, but then the comeback. One thing I know about when you're the boss of YouTube, the boss never quits. If the boss quits, you might as well just assume you're already dead. That's the only way that the boss of YouTube would actually would ever quit. Not when you're the boss. You're not just going to quit like that. I, I don't accept that. <laughs> I, I, I've, I've seen all of it. So then that's all I'm going to say. So, um, you know. And the people that are the boss on YouTube, that you'd be surprised how powerful and how much energy they can actually um, gain and then actually explode on YouTube. Everybody that I ever said that ever said they were the boss that's a very powerful thing to say when you say that. When you speak those words out of your mouth, I am the boss. That, right alone, right alone B-O-S-S. -S, that, I don't know. I, I don't even say that on my YouTube channel. But boy, if I did, ooh. So just remember that, guys. Just remember that money over honeys. Um, you know, Street Life Asia. I mean, I'm, I'm not... I'm not taking up for boss. I'm just saying what he is and what he's capable of. Um, and the thing that he does, it's very good. He actually really actually tries to help people on YouTube. So that right there by what he did, there's certain people that he did things for. and Those people are not going to forget. They're always going to remember a person like me. I did not forget what he did. So... Nobody, nobody else has ever had got 110 people in my chat. So that was all part of because uh, Boss, Capio, and Nitro. So I remember what they all three did. I'm not going to forget that. But one thing that really shocked me when Boss told his community to send it, come in and come in my stream, everybody actually came in my chat. His whole, everybody in his stream. That was shocking. So I know I'm talking in circles, but I'm just saying there's a lot of energy in that that comes out of it. So I never had anybody else do that for me. Even last year. So like I always say, guys, one hand washes the other. Well, that's true. And see, I don't forget. See, now I'll tell you something, guys. Something that's very powerful. Now, let's say last year, if I would have had 110, 120 in my chat, then that would have been a very powerful thing. But that did not happen last year. Um, last year, what I had is I had my live streams boosted. <laughs> so that's a that's terrible. Can you imagine having a boosted live stream of 100, 200 and it's not real? Oh, that, that stinks. But now just imagine having 111 real people in your chat and not someone have someone boost your live stream. So that is a force to be reckoned with. Um, no, I'm not Barry's Fried Chicken. I'm just here having a good time. I'm just waiting for Keith to go live. No, I'm not desperate for clout. I'm just bored. I'm just talking to you guys because I know you guys miss boss. So I'm just trying to, I'm trying to 
I'm trying to fill his place because he's not live right now. So I'm actually trying to do him a favor. Because I want him to get it done. It, it, it infuriates me that he has not been going live on YouTube. So what I should do is the next time he goes live, I should give him a $50 super chat. I Actually, I should. You know what? Make it 100 bucks. Why not? It just it, it infuriates me. I want I'm I'm upset that boss has not went live. It's like, well, come on, man, you're the boss of YouTube. Let's let's go. Let's grow. Let's get it done. So I'm kind of like, you know, so I, I'm so let me settle down. I think the neighbors and be like, uh oh, he's getting wild down there again. Come on, boss, you got to go live, man. It's, it's hurting all of us. <laughs> oh, boy, I'm so bored. Okay. Uh, yeah, well, okay, there you are, Brennell. Bren what's going on with Boss? Why, why is Barry not going live? It's actually killing me. The Boss is taking a well-deserved break and should be back soon. Running seven businesses takes... Oh, okay. Okay, I just want to make sure he's okay because I haven't heard. I don't see him on YouTube. Okay, Brennell, thank you for telling me that. I appreciate that. So he's just taking a well-deserved break. Okay, thank you for saying that, um, Brennell. Um, because some people in the chat were saying that boss quit, and I was like, "Oh, come on, he didn't quit. He a man like him is not just going to quit YouTube." Okay. All right, so, okay, thank you, Breakage. I would pinky nitro. Um, I would pinky nitro. Uh, well, okay, Aaron P., that, that's okay. Of course, yeah. Well, that's okay. I, I just want him to get back on YouTube again. That's all I'm saying. Um, because, you know, he he's the boss. Or he, uh, that, I, I just... Okay, maybe I need to stop. Maybe I need to stop the stream because it's it's you know I'm I'm talking too much and you guys are like okay Kelly's losing his mind. All I'm saying I just want Barry to go get Barry be back on YouTube um, because I kind of feel bad you know so that's all I'm saying. I don't know why I I keep talking about it. The guy really helped me out and I'm I'm just I just kind of miss him on YouTube and that's it. <laughs> I know you guys are like, Kelly is losing his mind. So, yeah. Okay, so thank you for telling that, Brent L. I appreciate that. Okay, okay. Um, okay, so I see all of your comments. All right, so Corona stuck, struck hard on boss. Well, okay. Um, okay, thank you. Copy, paste. He... Uh, Boss will never... Well, of course he's never going to stop. I know that. <laughs> I've actually enjoyed this stream today. I've actually found this to be a really good stream today. Okay, um... Okay, and some of you guys in the chat, I want you to admit that you miss him streaming too. Just admit it. A lot of you guys in the chat here, you miss Barry the Boss's streams. Money Over Honeys, Barry's Fried Chicken, Brent L, Breakage. Um, I know you guys miss him streaming. If you're in here, be more run. I know, I know you're missing him too. But you guys probably know what's going on, something that I don't know. So basically by me talking about it, I'm promoting his YouTube channel. All right, so actually let me drop his link again. So, um, <laughs> and no, I'm not trying to get clout. I know you guys thinking, oh, you're just trying to get clout from the boss again. Nope, 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 nope. He's already done that for me. So, okay, you know what, let's just do this. All right. 
Okay. So this is what we got to do. So the next time he does go live, then all these people... Oh, man, this stuff's going to burn. Shit. Yes. I think I just burned the salmon. Ouch. Fuck. No good. You don't go. Yeah. All right. That's done. Shoot. Sorry, guys. Excuse my language. That's already been in there for... 40 minutes, I think that's long enough. I probably just burnt the fish, but that's okay. I don't know, but do you guys think I burnt my dinner? Let's see, what do you guys think? Do you think I burnt this? I don't think this is burnt, right? What do you think? Looks okay, doesn't it? Okay, it's okay. <laughs> All right, guys, I think I'm gonna go ahead and call it a night. I got other places to be. So um, whatever you guys do, just get Boss back on YouTube and then Let's let's get it backed. Um, that's a good idea. Um, copy paste. Thank you for saying that. Ooh. I just took that out, on. I think that's okay. I had that in there for about. Um, you have rice? No, I didn't cook the rice. Um, you got home a little later than I thought you would. Um, but I can't cook that anymore. That was six forty-five. That's been in there for like four Oh, shit. That's why I made Buggy's heavy. I didn't know that there's water in it. Ah, I should just leave it there. Uh -huh. should just leave it there, you know? Oh, we got some rice here. Yeah, you can have that. No, no, you can have it. You, you can have no, it. I, I'm not that hungry. I thought you'd be hungry. Oh, that's already over because there's no yeah. water anymore. What? How many? 350. For well, how many minutes already? Uh, 35. Mm. That's already cooked. There's no sauce anymore. It's almost burned. Yeah. It's almost burned already. Because you burned that now? It's you did it at 350. Really? Yeah. This is, takes only 30 minutes. Okay. 20 to 30. It went five over. Uh, yeah, we have a um, vegetable in here. You need to have vegetable with it. Okay. One second, guys. Let me turn around here. Let me get out of the way. Um, yeah. But I'm getting ready, getting ready to stop this stream here because it's... Well, now i got 22 in the chat. Okay. So, yeah, I am... Uh, that's got to cool off. Okay. Well, I thought you'd be hungry when you came home. I had a uh, appetizer to Abid Abid and Grandpa. Oh, okay. I might, I'm not hungry yet. Um, copy paste. I, I, I don't do that. I don't, I don't do that, that mongering thing. I, I don't do that. That's not what I do. I don't do that. H how can I possibly do that when I'm married? <laughs> But thank you for the comment. I appreciate that. I'm just trying to do a good thing for, for boss. I mean, bury the boss. That's all I'm, oops, I'm trying to do there. Because um, he's the boss, so he needs to get back on YouTube and start getting it done. So so what the plan, this is the plan, guys. This, this is what we're going to do. This is the plan. This is the plan. I'm actually being dead serious when I say this. Once I get it done on YouTube, once I do something here, I don't know, in the next couple months, then I'm going to do something really, really good for Barry the Boss. So he can take back his power on YouTube, and then he can um, get what he wants out of it. So um, I, I know how to do that. So instead of me doing a charity thing, it's better that he would grow his YouTube channel organically. And then he could, you know, really, really uh, get it done. So you, uh, so I'm not going to forget that. Okay, so anyway, it's 7.26 in the evening. Um, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and finish the live stream now because I'm getting ready to go into another live stream so I can give them some support. So I just wanted to say that before I end the stream. So when I get to where I want to be, 
I want to do something very good for um, Barry the Boss on YouTube. Oh. And then we're, I, I, we'll, oh, your we'll, hands in, your hands. So, yeah, so I got this. So I actually, okay, this nice. here's right here is my little new thing that I have. My new so power thing. Don't, so anyway, so I want to conclude the stream today. I've been on here for about three hours today. I appreciate you all being here. Thank you all for being here for as long as you did. I appreciate all of you. So we can now... I got in the stream, guys, so I just want to... Because I'm getting ready to eat because I'm kind of wound up. So we can... Um, I'll see you guys later. Thank you for all being here. <laughs> and I will see you guys later, guys. Have a great night, guys.